Doug! What's up? I'm on time. Just like every time. Who won? Believers or doubters? Like, I have the shit king. Look. I'm more of the shit emperor. All of the... I feel like most of the channel points economy is now just centered around people betting on when I'll start stream. It's not... It's not really based on what happens on the stream anymore. Alright. Settle down, class. I still have to do a bunch of shit. I'll keep doing shit in the background. Just pretend that I'm saying funny things and being entertaining and being a streamer and whatever. Or just pog, because there's coding. Um, what do I gotta do? Buttons... Okay, I want to... I think take all of these. Oh, how do you make fun- oh, god damn it. How do you make functions in Python? I don't even know how to do that. I don't know anything with Python. What I was gonna do is make a function for each of these. Alright, look. Real quick learning session, okay? Uh, smash ultimate buttons. I have to define them at the top, right? What do you do? What does a Python function look like? Def function name variable. So, okay. So if I say def light left. And I don't need, I don't need, uh, inputs, right? So that's, that's a thing, right? I did it. Did I code? I, this is my function, right? This is a good function I can call light left now? Yeah? Yes? Yes! I did it! All right, so basically I wanna make a whole bunch of these little functions that just do a thing in the game. And then below the AI, when it's deciding what to do, it'll it'll just have all these little helper functions ready to go that makes it a little bit simpler. So I gotta do, we'll do this until people, nobody's here, right? Only early gang is here, right? Not actual people. If they are, tell them stream hasn't started yet. Just tell them to calm down. Uh, wait, what is melee hold time? Oh, Jesus. Where the hell, where are these defined? Jesus, 0. 0.05. Oh god, people are here. Shit, shit. Hide the code! Hide the code! Don't let them see! Okay, everybody needs to just pretend like something interesting is- I need to code some shit, I, but I wanted to start the stream, so just pretend like something funny is happening. Entertain yourselves for a second. I just- I just want to make helper functions. It'll be so fun if I have helper functions. Uh, light, right. See, yeah, you're having a great- you don't need me! You guys don't need me! I barely contribute anything to these streams anyways. I'm just like... I don't know, what's the equivalent? I'm like a guy, I'm like a guy at a buffet, and I just be like, hey guys, the buffet's open, then you run in, you start eating food and yelling, no, 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 that, that doesn't work, because that means I'm providing the food. No, 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 what's an analogy for how I, how I run this stream that involves me not doing anything other than saying, go, it started, do, do whatever you want. Wait, I guess you guys could play Smash Ultimate while I'm doing the coding. Mm, anyway, hi, hello, welcome, uh, Doug, I'm back, what's up? I guess, are people here? Seems like people are here, chat's going pretty fast. It says I have 200 viewers. Are you here? Gun holder at a racetrack. Yeah, but Barry, I'm thinking like the point, yeah, yeah, that's probably the best, is a racetrack. Can confirm I am an actual person and I am not here. That's not helpful. What is an event where somebody kicks off the event and then the rest of the event is just based on the people there interacting with each other so the guy who started the event doesn't have to do anything? Lifeguard at the Olympics. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm the lifeguard at the yeah summer camp counselor. I'm the lifeguard at the Twitch pool. Okay, I'm not actually gonna do any work, but I do open the gate and you guys all jump into the pool. And go wee! It's summertime. I mean, a bunch of you guys just finished college classes and stuff. 
That's all I'm. I'm the lifeguard. If somebody is, like, dying in chat, let me know so that I can save them. Or ban them or whatever, all right? But otherwise, I'm just going to chill and read my coding book. Doug, I'm drowning. Can somebody get that guy out of the pool? Don't come to my stream if you don't know how to swim, all right? At least have, like, some basic understanding of how to take care of yourself. I don't want people just diving into the pool. Enemy gang is not people. I have never been more offended. No, it's just your... You guys are more like, um... King. Bacterium. Like, you just exist forever. Mr. Krabs Penny, holy shit, thank you for the 50 gifted subs. That is insane. I mean that in a positive way, like good bacteria, like that are in my stomach or whatever, that they're always there, you know what I mean? Good bacteria. It's a compliment, probably. Uh, Mr. Krabs Penny, thank you again. That's that's a ton. Thank you, thank you, thank you for 50 gifted subs. That's crazy. Appreciate it. Uh, hi, everybody. Hope you had a good break. Wait, no, you didn't have a break. I hope I had a good break, which I did. Uh, cool, now we're caught up. Dude, I did some mountain biking at like some actual, at like an actual mountain biking trail. Um, turns out mountain biking is like the most fun thing ever. Oh my God. There's shit in the pool. Can somebody get, okay, I'll get the shit out of the pool. Jesus Christ. The things I do to run this, <laughs> this pool daycare. Um, thanks, my break was great. I'm gonna assume all of you were on break the last week too. Hold on, I have a really, really funny joke. This is gonna be great. And then I'll explain what we're doing today. And then you all get to sit here and watch me code. All right, now when somebody says that I need to get the shit out of the pool, I'll be like, oh, got it, oh, get that out of here. This is why you guys pay me the big bucks. This is why I get paid 50 gifted subs to be the lifeguard of this Twitch pool. <sighs> okay, we're off to a good start. Firing out the gate with poop jokes. All right, let me uh, let me explain what's uh, what's going on today. Here's the premise, okay? Um, should probably open up the game. I just witnessed someone drown in the pool. Can you get his body out? I don't have the image for that. Look, common mistake. That guy, not an actual person. It's just more poop. I'll get it out of here. Okay. Ask a game design question is still active. Oh, whatever. I'll unactivate it at some point. Who cares? This is so disgusting. No, poop jokes are uh, still really funny. All right. <clears throat> so today, the challenge is going to be, can Twitch chat beat a level nine computer? But not just Twitch chat. You are also going to team up with Chris Snack, my AI that I will design to be as good as Smash Bowlers Ultimate as possible. And you guys are going to team up together and try to beat a level nine computer in Smash Bros. Ultimate. Tournament rules, all right? None of this super sudden death bullshit where you just have to get one hit and you can get lucky. We're going to do this pro style, okay? So it is going to be a 2v1. You guys are going to have to come up with your own strategy. I'm going to have to develop the AI using code and figure out what's going to be best for him, and we will slowly get better and better like an anime arc and become the ultimate duo and defeat a level 9 computer. I do not know if this is doable. I feel like it's not possible. Which is what you always say at the beginning of an anime. I'm sure it's possible, but it'll probably be really, really goddamn hard. So, you guys are obviously... You understand how to play Smash Bros. We've done this various times. Um, I, uh, I'm going to be making an AI... Thank you, Davey. I'm going to be making an AI um, that is like Chris Snack, but uh, hopefully a little bit smarter. So, it'll still be picking random inputs all the time, but I'm going to decide what the percentages are so that we can figure out how to make him as randomly as good as possible, if that makes sense. Okay, you guys are going to notice there's a new mod, Hello Cake Bread. I want to be clear, he is not... Do not follow his... <laughs> do not follow his actions in terms of what you should be doing in this channel. He's moderated as a sort of like... Uh, you know, like a, like a poster of like, Do not trust men. Do not trust strangers who offer you candy at the park. 
That's what, he's like that poster. He's letting you know, don't do this. Don't just spam dance, for, this is not a certified dance frog moment. Sorry, Davey, I didn't mean to compare you to a pedophile. I, what I mean is don't, Davey, just don't spam dance frog. Unless it's relevant, it has to be relevant. Can we have silly snack instead? Look, they're all the same. They're all the same. They just spam random inputs. <laughs> you guys are so attached to silly snack. <laughs> Relevant dance frog. Here, I'll get you, Davey. All right. In this one and only instance, dance frog is relevant. Okay, so but before... Before we get into this, I need to set up the code, the baseline code for the AI. And I didn't do this in advance because everybody loves watching coding. Mr. Krabs Penny, I think you're 25 more subs. That's insane. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, man. That's a ton. Appreciate it. Hey, Dance Frog's in the chat for Mr. Krabs Penny. Uh and what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some helper functions which define the different actions that he might do. For example, uh, rump, like jump, jumping to the right, or right smash attack. So I'm going to make a whole bunch of little helper functions in Python that just do that action, and then we'll write the code that says, okay, every single, like, loop, it'll pick a number between 1 and 100. For each one of those numbers, uh, what what does the AI do? And then we can, we'll strategize and try to make it better, right? Because there's, there's a world where we say, okay, we want the AI to just sit still and do smash attacks, and that's it, right? That's a totally viable strategy. Or maybe we say, no, 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 no. We actually want him to be like alternating a bunch of stuff. So we'll like develop his strategy together. Back to the dance frog. Anyway, so give me a couple minutes. Writing better code in my Doug Doug stream. I didn't say better. It's literally just a helper function. This isn't like better, really. It's just for me to make it readable. Up, down, all right. Uh, I don't need stop, do I? Nah, we don't need stop. Okay. Hiding screen. For a few minutes. It's a dancing and coding stream, I guess. Uh, okay. Okay, now we need a jump. And jump is gonna be this. Alright. This this is why I actually wanted helper functions, because so now here. Now I can just call the rump function. It'll be a little easier. Yes, to look at. Yes. Ha 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 ha, that was so funny, Doug. Thank you. Do you guys want to practice Smash Bros in the background while I code, or do you want us to just dance frog? <laughs> because we can just dance frog as, as long as we need, really. You don't sound very sure. Both. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> Would entertain us. We don't need practice, we're great. Look, you guys. I just let's get a let's get a baseline of how good you are, okay? Hold on, who do you want who do you want to be? We're gonna, we'll start with, and I'll just pick random, doesn't matter. Because that's part of the strategy we're gonna have to figure out collectively, right? Is, oops, not that. Is what characters are best for us. Again, this is an anime, just like every class is. Chat, don't say oh. you're here, you'll startle Doug. <laughs> I'm not that easily startled. I'm an adult. I just get really, really scared of horror games, but that's separate than people saying that they're present. Uh, okay, you guys will be random. The computer, make the computer Mario, okay? And we'll make him level nine. Cool. And then we're just going to see just a rough baseline. How capable are you guys of beating a level nine computer? Ready, set. 
Are you playing? Oh, there you go. Jesus, take the wheel. Okay, you, there you go. All right, now I'm gonna do some coding in the meantime. Oh, wait, no, I can't do coding. You're pressing the buttons on my keyboard. Let's go Twitch's best Peggle streamers back. At least top five Peggle streamer. We will do the coding. Do you understand, like, what it would look like if you guys tried to code? I'll, sh I'll show you. Yeah, no, no, it's not working. Look, you're just writing shit into my... This isn't helpful. Okay. All right. Well, you almost baited Mario to kill himself. Great job. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say it's going to be real hard to beat a level 9 computer. And I think we can all agree, you need me. You need my AI. And together, we can do this. Okay, I'm going to... Right. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. I'm going to finish. We won. <laughs> you were Peach, to be clear. Uh, let me finish coding. Uh, grab. F shield. Okay, here we go. The, these are the, these are the ones that I actually want to use, right? These are the the, the functions we'll probably mostly use. Uh, left smash. So left smash will hold the key left. It will hold and release the A key, and it will hold and then release the key left, right? I just gotta repeat this. Leave it to the right smash. To use good gut bacteria as a compliment. Click. That's a certified shit king moment. Anyways, just play in the pool, have fun. Play Marco Polo. Dig PLS help me. I am under the water. <laughs> Get out of there, dude. I just can't emphasize this enough. If you are incapable of swimming. No break here. We just sat here in chat waiting for your return. <laughs> It wouldn't surprise me, dude. All right. I got like eight more. Left B. Probably a faster way of doing this. Whatever. Def, right B. 985,427 final offer. For what? You have to give... <laughs> <laughs> You guys do not understand how companies work, or business, or anything. You can't just offer me money <laughs> first. <laughs> what are we... <laughs> what are we... What are we uh, haggling for? This is like the roommate stream, when you guys would just demand that products were purchased that don't exist. Okay, one more, I think. Down B. Down B is going to hold down. It's going to press the B button for 0.2 seconds. It's going to release the down key. Very cool. Oh, we have the dash attacks. Okay, left dash attack. My sense is that probably we're going to mostly want him to do dash attacks, right? And smash attack. Probably that's it. I don't know that we'll want the AI to move at all. But this is all part of the science we're going to have to learn today. All right, def right dash attack. Bam, 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 bam. Do I need to, does he need to have taunt? <laughs> That's such a bad idea. I'll give him like a 1% chance of taunting, but it's gotta be low. It's like, it's gotta be low. He needs to, like, we are so far from beating a level nine. Jesus, take the wheel. It's gotta be 1% or less. Why do you thank you for this gifted sub? Appreciate it. Uh, sorry, back to the certified dance floor. Okay, deaf taunt. I'll give it a random chance.
Zwater, thank you for the five gifted subs. Appreciate it. Thank you for all the subs. I know I'm missing a whole bunch. Uh, I always do. Thank you very much, everybody, for the support. I appreciate it, as always. No 3%. We don't need the help. It, look, you literally did, like, two damage to the AI. Doug, do you know the guy who created the Stanley Calibre? I was going to ask my wife, but she did what she liked <laughs> after I asked the question. Yeah, that's a that's a no go question for most relationships. All right, is random uh, function in Python inclusive? I always forget this, and you guys tell me different things every time. Um, da, 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 da. this method returns a, fl a random floating number. That guy me. just got here, and for the first time, I actually have no fucking idea what's happening. Look, it's why am I in it's, a pool? It's Where not, am I? Where is my it's family? Not that hard, dude. Fuck help. Rand int. Rand int Python. Totally. Thank you for the two years. Okay, it's inclusive on both sides. So it's a random number between one and three. And then, uh, hold on. So it's like, it will do taunt, rand taunt, random taunt equals random number from one to three. And then if random taunt equals one, then uh, it does, it presses up on the D-pad. L if it's two, then it presses uh, down on the D. Sorry, sorry, dance, dance time. Else it holds down. So there's, cause there's three taunts you can do. You can do three different t kinds of taunt. <sighs> He's already able to taunt. I know the answer. This is one of those times where I'm asking the question. I know what you guys are going to say, but does he really need to be able to take a screenshot? I feel like I would actually rather him take screenshots versus taunting. Taunting is like, we're just wasting time during the battle. Like taunting could literally stop us from beating the computer. Screenshot, at least he takes it and just moves on. Okay, but there's a small percentage chance for screenshot. It's only gonna be one percent. Sorry, dan dance frog. Uh, cool. And it compiles great. All right, so I've got all these functions now. Oh shit, one, one thing I have to do. Hold on. Need to replace it with P2, because you guys are going to be player one. Okay. Dance frog moment over. This is now serious programming intellectual time, okay? You can still hang out in the pool though. The question is, uh, how do we want, what is our baseline for what the AI does? It could just kind of be random, but basically every, so the way it works, he's gonna constantly be in this loop where he says every single loop, he picks a number between one and 90, zero and I'll just say well, one and a hundred to make this easier. One and a hundred, okay? Picks a number between one and a hundred. And then based on what the number is, we're gonna say what he should do, right? So, uh, do I just kind of split it randomly at the beginning and then we can like hone in later on what, on what he's actually going to do? I don't know how we want to, how we want to like let this AI evolve. 50% on 50% screenshot. That won't help you at all. Congratulations on your hair loss progress. You're looking nice and bald today. Thank you. I actually got a haircut since the last time I streamed. So I am literally more bald than last time, but I'm glad you somehow think this. All right, why don't I just break it up into 10% at a time, okay? So it'll basically be like this. So I'll, I'll break this into 10 possibilities, essentially. 10 possibilities for what, uh, what he'll do. 60, 70, 80, uh, if it's less than 90, uh, yeah. Oh, I missed 80. I'm dumb. 
Okay, so, 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 so. This is what it'll look like. We're almost there. For people who don't know coding or care, probably five more minutes and then we'll be going. All right, so uh, we're given a... Uh, there's 10 different options that essentially the AI can pick from in terms of what will happen, right? So the first 10%, what do we say, like jump right? I don't, like he, like he probably shouldn't be moving left and right Which just normally, right? Should he? Be playing? Random. Until we figure out what his main character is. That's part of the anime arc that we're going to have to discover. Smash attack. I mean, we could just do like jump right. So if I do rump here, so that's the first 10%. Lump is the next 10%. Jesus, take the wheel. Um... The next one could be, uh, just A. Next one could just be B. This one is, uh, right B. Hey, Duck, I'm glad you're back, man. I missed your streams. Hey. Thank you, thank you. Right B, left B. Uh, left smash. Right smash. And, uh, up smash. How about that? No, this is taunt. <laughs> All right, so this is like the simplest possible version. Okay, there's a 10% chance he jumps to the right, 10% chance he jumps to the left, 10% chance he presses A, 10% chance he presses B, 10% chance so is more readable. right B. Oh, eh, it's probably fine. 10% for right B, 10% for left B, 10% for right smash, 10% for left smash, and 10% to taunt. There's no screenshot right now, fine. Elif, the number... If it equals 100 exactly, it will take a screenshot. There you go. So this is what the AI is starting with, but we will be able to adapt him as needed. He needs to be able to recover. So here's the problem. I, it's just to be clear, when I say AI here, it is technically an artificial intelligence. How are you going to teach it the new slingshot tech? We'll get to slingshots. We could actually do that is the funny thing. Um, when I say AI, I mean that he's picking randomly, okay? It's not like he's reading the screen the and is interpolating what he has to do and where he is. I can't decide. Cro uh, crof crofts a crof lot. Sauerkraut? Uh, there isn't a down B. I mean, we can get him a down B later. This is fine to start with. We'll adjust. The whole thing is we're going to have to adjust what commands to give him. But instead of him being able to process what is going on and say, hmm, based on how the current situation looks, I'm deciding to make this informed action. That's not what's happening. Instead, he's saying, hmm, based on what this situation looks like, I'm going to ignore all of that and just do whatever the fuck comes up next. It's machine learning in the sense that he doesn't learn anything, okay? So that's the challenge, is we are deciding in a 1 to 100 chance, in a 1 to 100 spread of him picking what to do, how do we set up the possibilities to have the highest chance of success. How did alongside you, set up you guys. The USB Pro controller for chat, like what API? Uh, it's uh, a Titan 2. If you Google a Titan 2, it is a physical device that plugs into your Switch, and that's how you can control your Nintendo Switch with your keyboard. So it's Twitch going to my Python code, going to GTuner, which is this program, which then goes into the Titan 2, which then goes into the Switch. It's easy. And then you have two of those, and your computer runs in a whole bunch of issues, and then hey, you get really, Doug, you run really Doug, late to stream because it doesn't work, and then chat all yells rigged. What about 90 to 99? Did I miss something? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Oh, yeah, you're right. We do have one more. Um, yeah, there's one more group of 10. Uh, okay, so the last one will be Taunt. We have left smash, right smash. I guess I'll do up B. I don't know. That way he can recover. Up B. Yeah, that's that's going to really move the needle here. <laughs> cool. My code works. Great. Let's just make sure. Nah, let's not test it. It'll be funny. Hello, Douglas Douglas. It's good to see you again. Hello. I would like to file a complaint. No. You always stream right after uploading a video, which is good, but you never leave enough time to watch it. I Could you delay did. the stream until I finished it? I put out Doug, an eight-minute eight video. Pump? No, I put out an eight-minute video, and then I streamed 40 minutes later. What? What are you doing? I feel like you guys can't... You know, your watches must not be meant for underwater. So you keep idea. jumping in the pool How and your watch breaks. about the keys to your controller and then you control a controller with your hands and play the game yourself? I could do that, maybe. 
Look, there's the possibilities are endless. We have a bright and incredible future ahead well, of us. Well, I know how it looks but for like right now, I try to code. Let's try doing the thing that I said instead of switching over to Peggle or something totally different. All right. Um, here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. We start with random characters, but let's keep the enemy consistent. Um, oh, he should be Rob. You promised us mono Monopoly. Jump off the edge command. No, I'm not giving you a jump off the edge command. <laughs> Stop freaking out of her peggle. Um, so, look. Gonna be teams. Oh, wait, we need to set the, the, the rules as well. Hold on. That's important. I want it to be three stock. Like I said. I think... Uh, how do I edit this? Edit? So, three stocks. Do we have item? Do we have items on or no? Why don't we start... Let's start without items. And I would say that items can be part of our strategy, right? If we start, like... We'll come back to items later. We'll come back to items later. Because I see, I see that as a perfectly valid a strategy for figuring out how to make this work. Smash ball only. <laughs> we would get... Absolutely porked with smash balls, dude. Can we fight the AI first so we know our teammate fights? We already did. We did a, a, a temp run. Or a test one. Oh, you mean with the... Oh, fight versus my AI. No, we'll do that at the end. You guys will just have to adapt quickly. Do we have the toad hat for the me fighter? Like, can we fight toad? I don't, <laughs> I don't think I have the toad hat, dude. I have, um... Joe Exotic. You can fight Thanos, I think. Uh, let's start on Big Battlefield. No. How do I make this a computer? There you go. Alright. You guys will be random. Now, the way this is going to work, we are going to start and make sure you guys can beat a level one computer. This should not be hard, but this will allow us to get our bearings. Once we get a level one computer, we will advance onto a level five computer, just like an anime, where now a new character comes in and he's the actual strongest, higher level power or whatever. Once you beat the level five, then we move on to a level nine CPU. That's the final goal. We're starting with level one, though. However, for the sake of... This being easy to follow if this becomes a YouTube video. I want the computer to be consistent, at least for each round. Uh, so who who should be our enemy for round one? For for level one? Probably Mario, right? I know I have to do teams. It's not it's not set up yet. It's okay. You'll be okay. You promised us Snooker. I said at some point. You as me. Let's start random. Look, I don't want to I don't want to lock ourselves into characters quite yet. That's part of the strategy that we'll develop. Let's let's start this out without a whole lot of planning and then we'll learn from here, right? Kirby. Kirby will be hard to hit. I'm going to start with I'm going to start with Mario and then we'll switch to whatever meme characters you guys want. All right. The beginning of this challenge. Can Twitch chat and my shitty AI beat a level 1 computer with normal tournament rules? So everybody ready? Any final questions? I have to boot up all the code and all the crap. Um, let's see. All right, that guy will be ready there. You guys will be ready over here. This setup it requires a lot of stuff happening. Now we'll get some music. Oh yeah. Where's our nicknames? This is the worst. Oh my god. This is how I have to put in the name? No. 
Oh my god, this is a mess. I'm also playing on my keyboard, as a reminder. A... No. No. Oh, god damn it. Fucking... Okay. Now I go here, and I press up. I'm playing on my numpad. No, wrong thing. Oh, now it's lowercase again. God, this is awful. I'm using the numpad plus numpad 3 and 2 to press A and B. It's a mindfuck. Okay, that's B. Now I press A, and I move up. Now I go A, I, okay, and now I go down, and I hit this. There we go. <clears throat> Good luck, everybody. Three, two, one. All right. Twitch chat is playing as Little Mac. The AI is playing as Duck Hunt, and Mario is a level one computer. Now, again, it's kind of 10 different options that the AI will pick from. You guys have all of the normal Smash Bros commands. Up, down, left, right, left smash, right smash, up B, down B, right B. Everything that you can think of, you have at your disposal. You just have to coordinate them perfectly. Both of you have killed yourself. So right here, if you just kind of stay stationary, you can take down Mario, right? Just get some hits in. You're moving too much. You're moving way too much. The AI's doing great. AI's doing amazing. Look at him. He's staying center stage, keeping control. You guys are sort of ganging on him right now. Look, he's at 50%. This is salvageable. Okay, back to center. Okay, here's an issue with the fact that he's level one. The computer isn't approaching you guys, which just like gives you more opportunities to jump off the edge. AI kills himself. And, all right, AI's off. There was something over there he had to check out. It's up to you guys, chat. One life versus three. Get him. Oh, big hit. Let's go, let's go. All right, you're warming up. Whoa, huge. You took a picture. All right. So that didn't go that well. <laughs> I don't look, I don't want to be pessimistic. But how the fuck are we going to be a level nine computer? is what I would say if we didn't have a whole lot of strategy that we can start incorporating. First off, we gotta make Chris smash the AI even better because right now he just jumped off the edge. Okay, we gotta, we gotta make him, I have, a, I have an idea. What if instead of deciding random things to move around or attack, what if he just doesn't, uh, doesn't move? What if he just doesn't move at all and he just attacks? And then we switch to a stage that doesn't have platforms. So then the, a, the computer comes to him. Are there any downsides to this brilliant strategy? You guys do seem pretty impressed by my intellect. We need a third player that's silly snack. I can't do it. I don't have a third Titan 2. No downsides. There we go. Yeah, Little Mac was a terrible character too. Okay. Call Parkser. <laughs> we don't need Parkser. Okay, so I had... I had I have him doing right jumping and left jumping, so we just change these to right dash attack. So he'll still move. He'll just be attacking while moving. So now it's right dash attack, left dash attack, A, B, right B, left B, up B, right smash, left smash, taunt, and screenshot. Feels pretty good. That should work. And then we'll switch to a new stage that is uh, more flat. I think that'll help a lot. Uh, and now let's talk about you guys. <clears throat> Chat. You gotta get better. I don't want to be the one to say it, but I'm just gonna come out and be straight. Everybody's saying you guys threw that game, okay? Chris Smash got like three or four hits in a row, and then you guys jumped off the cliff. So, what's going on, man? 
this is the part of the anime where I need to sit you down and we have a talk. All right. I know your father's dead. Okay. I know he went off to fight the Legion of Frog Ganaries. He was eaten by a tadpole or something. And you want to go out and avenge him. Okay. But the first thing you have to do is be willing to leave this island. Be willing to leave your foster grandma and go out on that boat with the pirates and beat the fish and also stop fucking jumping stop jumping off the edge stay stay on the platform same thing here stop killing yourself chat i know you're sad get it together Whoa, what the fuck? Final destination, a flat map. Holy shit, Mr. Krabs Penny. There's so many subs. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it a lot. Dance frogs in the chat. Let's try random characters one more time. All right, new and improved AI, better stage. You guys aren't gonna kill yourself. Ready, go. Oh shit, hold on. Oh no, the code's not working. Ah, uh, hold on, don't do anything yet. Ready, set, go. Okay, chat immediately jumps off and kills himself. They're still broken up about their grandma or the fish or whatever's going on in your anime arc. I'm doing great. AI has gotten like 60 damage on Mario. He's literally not moving. <laughs> okay. How did he even jump off the edge? I don't. He doesn't have a movement command. How did he even kill himself? I don't get it. All right, look. This is this is fine. It's already looking a lot better. Somebody took a screenshot. Guys, who jumped left? There's no value to that at all, ever. Okay. AI, Chris Smash got back on stage, immediately went off stage. Right, right smash, right smash. Hit him right. You keep smashing to the left for some reason. Combo right there. Okay, nice combo. And that's death. That's death. Okay, stay center stage here. He's got two lives left. Uh, okay, the AI didn't want to. You guys stay center stage. You can do this. If you stick with smash attacks, dash attacks, up B, down B. If you just do stuff that doesn't go off the edge of the platform, chat. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Back to the drawing board. Giving the AI the ability to do up B is clearly problematic, because then he just up Bs, he just kind of floats off to the edge and goes and explores the, the outer reaches of the stage. This isn't working. I think I changed this to down B. Right? We just want we want the AI as stationary as possible. We want to think of the AI as like a cactus, okay? He's just a dangerous cactus, and that if the AI, if the computer gets near him, he'll get pricked. Your guys' job is to push the computer into the AI cactus. Fair? So he'll be stationary. You guys just need to move a lot and push people into stuff. I think that that's going to work. It's a good idea. We do need to talk about you again. Look. You kept killing yourself. What's like the... Story of Hunter x Hunter. No, story of Dragon Ball Z. I've never seen Dragon Ball Z. Story. What's like the, what's the story? First season of Dragon Ball Z story? Okay, here's season one of Dragon Ball Z. 
Five years have passed since Goku's victory at the 23rd World Martial Arts Tournament. Goku's son Gohan is wandering in the woods when a tiger steals his hat? While he's looking for the tiger, he falls into a river. Goku, searching for his son, finds his hat. He suddenly sees Gohan floating down a river but can't reach him in time as he goes over a waterfall. I thought this show was cool. What is this? Goku looks up and sees Gohan singing to a branch. With Gohan safe, they head to Master Roshi's house. Meanwhile, a mysterious alien has arrived on Earth looking for a man named Kakarot with a special device called a scouter that he wears on his head. So it's another hat. He searches for power, high power levels on Earth. He finds Piccolo, whose attack is completely ineffective. The alien is about to devastate Piccolo when he finds a higher power level and flies off. Okay, this doesn't help me understand what you guys need to do. I was hoping this would like give some guidance onto what you have to do to get better at this game. Uh, Goku and Gohan arrive at Master Roshi's house. Okay, Jesus. The, the, the others quickly notice the difference between Gohan and that of Goku as a child. Goku informs his friends that Chi-Chi refuses to allow Gohan to fight, preferring that he study constantly. The mysterious alien arrives and reveals himself. He's a Saiyan warrior named Raditz, and he's Goku's older brother, meaning Goku is actually Saiyan. Raditz reveals Goku is Kakarot. Goku learns that he's sent to destroy all life on Earth, but his memory lost from a terrible fall as a child prevented this um he's come to gave goku to join him and the other two remaining saiyans and he won't accept a refusal all right so you guys hit your head you're actually a super powerful saiyan you just hit your head so you keep jumping off to your fucking death okay you have to focus you're a super saiyan you can survive you can stand on a platform you are capable of this i'm your brother raditz I am here to tell you about your potential as a... What are you? What are you? Uh, what is Goku? Is he like a carpenter? Is he like a hat maker? Whatever. You're like a hat guy. You can do this, okay? I think with the code change here, we turn the AI into a cactus. You guys use right dash attacks and left dash attacks. Stop rumping and lumping. Goku's a farmer. Like a hat farmer? Here, tell you what. I'll give you a character with a hat. Uh, oh, Terry! Karate master with a hat is perfect. We're not quite sure how the AI plays into this anime story arc yet. He'll continue to be random. All right. Take three. Let's do this. Oh, no. What'd I do? Hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. You wrote in the code. Shit. No, 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 no. Hold on. It's not working. One sec. Stop, 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 stop. Who did this? Who put this L here? This is why it wasn't working. Someone put an L. Oh god, it's not... Who put a DLD? Where is this shit coming from? Okay, now we're good. Ready, three, two, one, go! All right, Mario's on the left side. We've got Wolf as the AI, and you guys, Terry as the main character. This is already looking way, way, way better. Holy shit. I'm seeing an issue. The right B and down B for the AI just <laughs> lets him go off the edge. I think we're going to have to remove any movement for the AI for this to work. But you guys are, have only lost one life. You've only lost two lives. Honestly, I liked how this started. It's just getting kills is the challenge. Nice, nice little combo there. Falls right in the middle, you guys. Honestly, AI, Chris Smash, almost got a great hit there. But then he side beat and killed himself. Nice, nice up B. Let's go. You're getting some good hits here. Remember, use the dash attacks. Left dash attack, right dash attack. But use them in the right goddamn direction. Ugh. <sighs> Ugh. 
Okay, here's here's what had happened. I hadn't made the AI a starfish. I had made him. I hadn't made the AI a cactus. I had made him a starfish. He was mostly prickly and stationary, but still moved a tiny bit. So I think that right B and left B I need to get rid of because that allows him to kill himself. We need a stage with walls. That's a good idea. The hat killed us. We aren't the problem your AI is. We <laughs> got one kill, all right? My guy did great. He just, his right B and left B killed himself a lot, okay? Who is he in the anime arc? He's, uh... In order to get Goku to join him, Rhett, hold on. We're going to learn more about Dragon Ball Z lore. Which character in this arc is my AI? In order to get Goku to join him, Raditz kidnaps Gohan and orders Goku to kill 100 Earthlings before the next day. Goku tries to stop him, but not even he can stop his brother's power. Even though he's no match for him, Goku will do whatever it takes to save his son. Krillin and Roshi volunteer to join Goku and save Gohan. Why is this thing here? Get out of here. Krillin and Roshi volunteer to join Goku and save Gohan. However, Goku refuses. Who's Krillin? He tells them that once the Eternal Dragon <laughs> grants a the wish, Eternal he will Dragon? not grant the same I wish again. I think the AI is the Eternal Dragon. The two cannot be resurrected again. <laughs> Suddenly, Piccolo appears and proposes this is the, that he wait, and hold Goku on. I, I Just want to be clear, I have not seen Dragon Ball Z. This is the beginning of the show? Are you supposed to follow any of this? This is nonsense. I thought this is like, doesn't everybody think this is a good show? Suddenly, Piccolo appears and proposes that he and Goku temporarily team up in order to stop Raditz. Who's Piccolo? He had seen Raditz's power while the Saiyan was looking for Goku, and he knows that neither of them are a match for this alien on their own. Raditz returns to the location of his landing pod, leaving Gohan imprisoned in it. Isn't his Gohan scouter the kid? detects a large power level coming from Gohan, but ignores it, thinking that it's malfunctioning. Is the AI, maybe the AI is using the dragon the radar to find Gohan and Raditz. Goku and Piccolo arrive and the remove dragon. their weighted clothing, boosting their power levels. <laughs> okay, we just all right. I'm happy to announce that I'm removing the AI's weighted clothing. We're not doing any more right B and left B. It's just going to be more smash attacks. No, it'd be up smash and down smash. This is going to boost the fuck out of his power levels. Wait, so is the AI Piccolo? I think the AI, AI might be Gohan, because everybody thinks his power level is just malfunctioning with the dragon radar in the Piccolo uh, machine. Okay, it seems like AI is Piccolo, and you guys are still a hat. <laughs> All right, hold on. I haven't even. I didn't. I realized I didn't even show you the commands for you to play. As a reminder, the buttons to play this game are light left, left, light right, right, up, down, stop, A, B, jump, rump, which will jump right, lump, which will jump left, R to R L or grab will all grab, right? Z or shield will shield. Left smash or lash, right smash or rash will right smash. It will left smash. You can up smash, you can down smash. These should be your bread and butter, right? Left B, right B are also great, but a little bit dangerous. Up B and down B, uh, situational. Stay away from up B in particular. Left dash attack and right dash attack are great. This is where you run and attack at once. And most of the time it doesn't make you jump off the stage, I think. And you can also taunt. You have taunt up, taunt left, or taunt down. And you have a 1 in 50 chance of taking a screenshot, too. So you've got a lot of options, and you're taking off your weighted hat. All right, you're gonna be fine. Oh yeah, that does mean the AI needs to be green. What if you made a program that had a bunch of predefined functions that you could print and then have Twitch chat write a program with those functions? Sounds like with a fax machine. <laughs> I want to write an AI that faxes you guys documents. Whoa, 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 whoa. How did you just do that?
Bring back Chris Spunk. Chris Spunk's doing great. He doesn't need to be back over here. Okay, so you guys... What do you think about Terry? Do you feel like he is your Goku character? He does have a hat. Alternatively, we could look for somebody else who fits the mold. Twitch chat also, he always, face line of he always wins. faces the enemy. Twitch chat writes a single line of, compo of code that compiles. That's a good one. King K. Rule. No, I should be... No, the AI should be King K. Rule. Jesus, take the wheel. Min Min. Who has a hat? Let's start off with that. Ness. No, Ness is Gohan. There aren't that many hats in this game. Little Max sucks. We already tried that. Hero costume. Yeah, honestly, Hero could be good. Dude, I think Terry is Goku, honestly. There's so few hats. Unbelievable. Hi, Duke Doug. It's Jim from Funny Haha -ha Department. From our latest stats, it seems that divorce jokes fell 40% in Funny Meter. Can you give us some new ideas slash props to spice up wife left me gag? Hey, if I offer minus one dollar, will it integer overflow and I win? Uh, look, only one way to find out. Look, I'm just the shepherd of the divorce joke. Stream idea it's up to the sheep to turn it into something funny again. That is an idea. Okay, Toad's got a hat. Toad could be Goku. I can't believe you are coding after touching poop without washing your hands. <laughs> King K. Rule is definitely Piccolo. Like, these two characters immediately makes me think of Dragon Ball Z. I think we're ready, dude. Ugh. Hero costume looks like Goku. All right, we'll try that next. We'll see if Toad is a good enough Goku. Look, let me just once again reiterate. You don't need to jump. Jesus, take the wheel. Ever. Ever. You just want to smash attack and right dash attack and maybe some up Bs or some down Bs. I don't even know what Toad's moveset is. I've never played as him. Lucario is based on Goku. Sean Schemmel. Really? Ugh. I didn't know Sean Schemmel voiced Lucario. That's funny. All right, everybody. It's a good song. Napalm Man. I'm ready. All right, I'm loading the code first this time. Here we go. Weighted closer off. It's time to kick some Mario ass. Let's go. Come on. Chat immediately dashes left, but doesn't go off the edge. Look at this. Look at this. That's already opening with a hit and zero suicides. It's fantastic. Chat, you're doing amazing. The AI is doing it. Piccolo is just sitting in the corner. At some point, hit Mario towards Piccolo. Hey, Doug, this is Shit. my first stream of yours. I love your YouTube channel uh, a lot, and I'm happy I get to watch your stream. Love you. Thanks, Valkaria. Look, chat. Chat. <laughs> You've got to knock Mario towards Piccolo. He's not capable of doing anything. Oh, he shot a cannonball. Whoa. Okay, the AI just got a potentially finishing blow with the cannonball. Oh. AI just hit Mario. Mario gets back on stage. You guys are right there. You can get finishing smash attack right now. Finishing smash attack. Right, right there, right there. He's dead if you hit it. Nice, nice. All right, one down. The yeah, AI is still at three. You guys are at zero lives. So now this comes down to a battle between a level one computer. You know you took his life. Don't take his lives. You can't. Guys, if you're going to steal my AI's life, at least do something with it. He's putting in good work over here. KPA, thank you for two years. Okay, nice hit there. And he knocked you off and you couldn't recover. Thank you for subscribing to Big Cheese Facts. Today's fact, 
at least two US presidents have been gifted a wheel of cheese weighing over 1,000 pounds. <clears throat> Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> Pretty close game. I mean, it was closer. We are improving. We are definitely improving. Well. Let's learn about episode four. There's got to be something in here that can get us better. Goku and Piccolo throw everything they've got against Raditz. But it seems that even their combined power stops short of Raditz's own strength. Both get injured and Piccolo even loses an arm. The lost However, an arm? Piccolo has an idea that might beat him. The special, <laughs> the special beam cannon beam is cannon. newest and most powerful technique <laughs> that he was planning on using against Goku. Wait, that makes sense! But King K. Rool has, has a cannon! he has the power up to make it work. And he requires five minutes to gather you the strength. You have to buy the, the so AI Goku five minutes and he'll start firing the back. cannon! I Despite can do this. the fact that the two drastically raise their power levels with heavy concentration, they do not Severely manage Russell to Jimmy's defeat Raditz using months. their attacks. Suddenly, Goku does manage to grab Raditz's tail, instantly weakening him. Raditz's Raditz tail? Raditz feigns surrender, and Goku releases his I tail, despite Piccolo's warning. Today, However, Raditz quickly attacks Goku again elbowing him in the face and crushing his chest. As Raditz prepares to kill Goku, he suddenly picks up an enormous power level. It's Gohan who Can jumps out of the spaceship. Be in the bunny suit if we beat the CPU? No. Okay, so the AI just needs time to charge his special beam cannon. Here's my idea. The AI does what he's doing for one entire minute. While you guys get some work in. And then he switches to 100% cannon attacks. It's stupid. But it's just stupid enough to work. Samus has a better... Is Samus His green though? Be little Mac because he can't recover anyway. Does she have a green skin? Hey, Doug. I'm here. I don't know where here is. Oh god, where am I? Can someone help me? I'm so scared. Jesus, someone. Please. Nah, you'll be fine. <laughs> Wait! So you're saying Samus is actually Piccolo? And that Samus will start charging her special beam power-up after a minute? So you have to buy Samus enough time so that the AI can start using Piccolo's beam attack. We've got a plan. Who are you? I forget. Oh good, Dougie is back. Now we can play video games as God intended. Hero? Oh, so then you guys switch to Hero. Because Goku is the hero. So this is just a more advanced version of an amiibo. Which one is Goku? That one? Yeah, he looks pretty Goku. But also, Six looks pretty Goku. Six looks really Goku. I think Six. Two looks Goku-er. Six looks more like Piccolo. <laughs> No, Piccolo looks like Samus. Made by the same artist. They do look exactly the same. Kirby is more Goku. Okay, we've gotten you guys a Goku character. That should solve any problems you've been having.
The AI is now Piccolo Samus, and I just have to write the code. Said he waits a minute. Okay. Oh wait, wrong code. Um. Uh, no, it's not wait 60 seconds. I need a way to like tell the current amount of time. How do you, how do you with time? So I have to be like, uh, time started, uh, time at start, something like that. Does anybody know time dot current, something like that. How do I get the current? So we need to like, when the program starts, we say, what is the current amount of time? And then at each loop, it'll, it'll say, okay, has a minute passed. Hey, if it hasn't, the then I do my normal thing. If a minute has great. passed, then we start charging the power beam. No more balding jokes. Thank you, Goller. Time dot time. What about the CPU's tail? <laughs> We're gonna have to grab it, right? Somebody's gotta grab his little tail. Can we then use the amiibo learning mechanic to learn from your powerful new AI? Yeah, just use the AI to use amiibos to train my AI or your AI. If time dot if time equals sixty, then equals beat C. That's not how it works. That's not real code. Just Bryce, thank you very much for the five gifted subs. I appreciate it. Dragon, thank you for the gifted sub to Stone Labs. I appreciate it. Radish is definitely Donkey Kong. I don't think his name is Radish. <laughs> is 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 that guy a monkey? Radix is that his name? Now that you've done the code, can we stop this and watch Eurovision instead? Yeah, it does look like Diddy Kong. I wish, dude. Eurovision's hype. What happened here? I think you guys replaced... What was the name? Special Beam Cannon. Okay. Uh, coding time pog. So time at start equals time dot current. And then with each loop, it's going to say... If time dot time... I assume it's like that. If time dot time minus two ints, thank you very much. Minus time at start uh, is greater than sixty. If we one shit this, or will less you than sixty. Wear the bunny suit. <laughs> we one shit this. Is this correct for people who know Python? And then I would. This would all be. So the the hey, Doug, program that we've had so bus. far. How about we play some Pega? No, thank you, the Pegler, for the great suggestion. Time now minus time at start. Yeah, yeah, this. So in every loop, it says time, like, time dot time, the current time, minus whatever the time was at the start. Time dot current isn't a function. Oh, I meant to do. I don't know why I did that. I... It looks, it looks like it might be nanoseconds. Time so far in Python is. Here, why don't I do this? Let's just test it real fast. We'll just print out. Okay. We print this, we see what it looks like at each uh, frame. Oh, I'm done. Okay, so this is saying how much time has passed. Yeah, that seems accurate. This is in seconds, right? Cool, that works. So how long How long will you guys have? How long do we need you guys to do damage before the special cannon is powered up? I think like a minute, right? It can't be five minutes like the, like the anime because the anime pads for time to get more commercials. We don't have commercials. I don't run commercials here. <laughs> We're not doing five minutes. The battle's been lasting like 30 seconds, dude. I'll do a minute. Five minutes. This is this has been going on for so long, and it's only been 30, 40 seconds, dude. I'm doing a minute. You guys have to survive for a minute, and he'll still be doing his strategy before that, okay? Or I guess we can have the AI, we can have the AI not do anything for 60 seconds. No, no, we'll have him do his current thing, okay? So... I'll still have him print it. So, what we'll do is we'll say, if 
Uh, time dot time or. I work with a guy named Doug. Do you know him? We all know each other. Yeah, it's been a good year for Dougs. Okay, um, if it has been less than if the total amount of time passed is less than sixty seconds, then we will do everything that we did before, which is him standing there like a cactus. Otherwise. DM Megzi, thanks so much for two years. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 69 seconds, really? <laughs> One day, we'll talk about numbers, and you guys won't all freak out about 69. One of these days, I say it every time. It's a fantasy world I dream about. Because it's not even that it's like close to the number 69 necessarily. In this case, it was. Normally, it's just that a number has been mentioned at any point, And that's enough to set everybody off. Okay, so at this point, in the... Uh, at this point, special beam cannon is ready. Doug, Eurovision is going on. Can you pause the stream for like three hours? You can pause the stream for like three hours. It's not, it does not require me to do it. Okay, so I think I, he probably just fires the special beam cam in right and left alternating, Showing right? Showing a lot of neck for a man who chugs oil. <laughs> so he presses B, okay? How long does it take to charge... How long does it take to charge Samus's special beam cannon? Jesus, take the wheel. So, because uh, he'll press B, then he'll sleep for like a second? I don't know. Three hours. No, four seconds. Okay. So I'll press the button. He gravity falls asleep. Made it our father. We'll show that gravity who's boss. Gravity is definitely Raditz. Uh okay, okay, okay. So uh we press B, we wait for four seconds. Now it's ready. So now we press B again. Now we have him turn left very briefly, right? Uh light left. Yeah, and light right. This one is for dad. I shall do this first. Okay, so he turns left. He presses B. He waits four seconds. He presses it again. Then he'll turn right and do the same thing. Jesus, take the wheel. And then he'll just repeat this. I think he might need to wait after moving right here. Uh, like... Point two seconds, something like that, just to give him a sec. And at this point forward, he's just special beam cannoning. I know, like the entire size. rest of just the fight. Just get it together. Gee whiz, Doug, you should be a therapist. <sighs> That'd be funny if I got registered as a therapist, so that all of all of this interaction is considered therapy. Why are not moving? Is going to help us. In all honesty, if we were fighting the AI and you made it to where he couldn't walk off the edge, then we would yell rigged and or coward. But it helps us, so I'll take it. Don't worry. I'm sure people will yell rigged and call me a coward regardless. Or so you a coward, or the AI, or the AI a AI coward, or the CPU a coward. And level up. Look, he's smart, okay? Piccolo's a smart, beautiful boy. Quit talking shit. Honestly, I think this has a serious shot of working. I really do. I, I genuinely did not think that we could have the AI start to spam Samus's beam things after we've gotten some initial damage, and then we just finished off the fight. This is actually brilliant, and it's all thanks to Dragon Ball Z. <clears throat> Everybody ready? So, Piccolo the AI is going to do his normal smash attacks for the first minute, just fight like a normal person. And then the special beam cannon will be ready and he'll just fire gigantic beams the entire rest of the fight. I really... I really believe this can work. Take B out of the top part. Sure. No, I think that's fine. Dead Dragon Ball Z is a sequel series. Dragon Ball comes down first. Oh. Okay. 
I started I started this music way too early. Please hold. Who's who? Uh you are Hero Goku. You are Piccolo Samus. <clears throat> Dream team right here. Everybody remember the plan. Put this AI into the Skyrim wagon. You must stall for a minute until Piccolo's cannon is ready. No, you went back. God damn it, chat. Who pressed B? Oh. Why can't I move? A crew, you're not pulling your weight. Play better or we'll never win. Look, I think we can all agree it's one of the two crews is not pulling their weight. This is why you need to save your code after you make changes and before you let us type. Eh, it's funnier the way I do things. Which is badly. Alright, alright. Mario immediately jumps into the middle. Right now, Piccolo is just doing some normal standard attacks. Both of you guys just need to get damage in on the board so that when the beam attack comes in, it gets the kill. Honestly, he's doing crazy. Was doing crazy. Alright. You just gotta help him survive for another minute. Doing a lot of downbees. Okay, we're already Mario's already at a hundred. Once the special cannon comes in, it's gonna go great. Honestly, this is going amazing. Okay, that's already kill. That's already kill. You guys are at three. Chat, if you can stay alive and just keep Piccolo alive for a little bit longer, we'll be okay. Are we almost at a minute? We're at 50 seconds. Piccolo's almost ready. Nice hit on the CPU. Okay, off to your death. 56, 57, 58, 59. Okay, this should activate the beam. He's not doing anything. <laughs> this did not work. What did I do wrong? He's pressing B and then rolling. Watch okay, and you DBs killed yourself. Bridged, it's like five minutes and we'll tell you everything about DBs and fast. Now, this is better watching the Wikipedia summary. Okay, Piccolo's broken. Doug, use Harry's stage the King of Fighters Stadium. Also, DBs is the sequel to Dragon Ball, so there's that story though. Also, very bored today. Thank you. All right, maybe Piccolo can win. Okay, Piccolo cannot win. Hey, All Doug, right, we got to figure Dragon out the beam, Ball's man. Dragon is the sequel to Dragon Ball. That's why it assumes you know the characters. Well. Fine. What did I do wrong here? So we just need to strip our clothes off to win. Let's do this. Everybody had better be naked right now. Otherwise, our power level isn't high enough. Okay. Uh, he sleeps for 0.2 seconds. He moves light left. It's probably that he is still in the movement animation. So he doesn't have time to press B. Crumpo, thank you so much for the 12 months. I appreciate it. Are there inputs enabled? No. So, so that's the thing. It, it's a, it's a while loop. We so it's just to loops slam infinitely. This AI to the next Super Smash. And then it says, if less than sixty seconds has passed, it does its normal thing, its normal mix. Otherwise, so once sixty seconds has passed, it's just doing this loop forever. Yeah, I think the first B is getting eaten. So I probably just need to do like wait for a second, or like a half second, something like that. I don't know. Maybe this will work. Um, 
because my what I suspect was happening was he moved left, but then he was still in the move animation, uh, and then so he pressing B Ball didn't Z do anything. The continuation of Dragon Ball, which was the original series. You meet all okay, those yes. characters in Dragon Ball. In Japan, Dragon Ball never changed its name at all and was always just Dragon Ball. I did not know that. Ken should be Twitch chat, similar to Golu. <laughs> to who? <laughs> Uh, all right, go. Let's do this. Same plan as before. Toad, our lord and savior. Mario, stand no chance. Duck help. My wife just left me for a sheep. <laughs> <laughs> No, it doesn't need to hold B. Hold B won't make a difference. If you're holding B when you move right, the it's when you press it down. It's not about holding it in Smash Bros. Like in the game you have to hold B? I don't think that's true. I'm pretty sure that's not correct. It is a charge. One of those presidents for Henry Ford. You don't have to hold. It's a charge attack. You don't have to hold. Charge beam is press, wait, press. It always astonishes me how confident you guys are. You're just, you're just wrong. Press it to charge, press it again to shoot. That's always how it's been in Smash Bros. Chat is never wrong. You don't need to hold it. Exactly, that's we what I'm saying. We just got to let the AI lose an arm and we're all set. <laughs> How do, does anybody know? I mean, look, does Samus even have an arm? Like, what? what is that cannon thing on her right? Has anybody confirmed she has a hand? If you're confident enough, you're always right. I main Samus, you don't have to hold. This is one of those things I actually know. There's a lot of things I don't know. This is one of the few things I do know. Where does Barn Finders fit into this story? Zero Suit Samus has an arm, but that's a different multiverse or whatever. Uh, look, we're gonna... Barn Finders, I'm sure, will show up. I'm so excited to be correct, and you don't have to hold B. I, I use graduated Samus five today, times, you gotta hold B. I have one more semester, and I've got to work today on my dad's birthday, and my wife and a boyfriend, Chris, and his partner named Smash all left. But, hey, Doug is streaming, anyways. What are we doing today? Ah oh, yes, Dragon Ball completely Ball take your mind off that. The AI is 100% Piccolo, 2 Hero and Goku were created by the same person. And 3, for the love of god this hurts, I wanna just explain everything. You're gonna have to resist that urge, because I assure you I don't actually care about the story of Dragon Ball Z. I'm happy that you enjoy it. But I don't care. <laughs> All right. Don't be shocked. Jesus Christ. This story is a fucking mess. All right. Every time I've heard, like, in college, friends would be like, oh, they would, like, talk now about, like, watching Dragon Ball Z growing up and just, like, obsessing over, like, oh, man, Will remember these episodes? Remember these? And I'd be like, can you explain to me some of it? <laughs> it's nonsense, okay? It's nonsense. It's fine. It's, I'm sure it's entertaining, but, like, I don't care about the lore. I just don't. Look, other anime is sick as fuck. I love anime. But when I've tried to understand Dragon Ball Z, it's just arbitrary power level shit that people are throwing around and no con no actions of any consequences. Because somebody will just randomly power up. I mean, look, the current context of the story is that they took off their weighted arm, their weighted clothing, and that they grabbed a tail. It's just, death may die. Thank you for the five gifted subs. I'm going to take that as you agreeing with me. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this battle right here is the one that persuades me otherwise. Everybody ready? Three. Two. One. Go! 
Jesus, take the all right, all right, all right, we're live. So again, we've got 60 seconds that we just have to wait until the charge beam is ready. A lot of down smashes going on by AI. But I'm watch worried Force about with the AI. Bridge on YouTube. The first episode is one minute. Whoa, minutes. Okay, this is this is looking good. You guys are staying. Well, you were staying center stage. It's already been 30 seconds though. If if Piccolo lives long enough to get the charge beam off, then we're fine. 40 seconds. Keep it up. This is great so far. Wow, maybe even a kill on Mario already. Okay, he's at 100%. We should be good. Careful, careful, careful. Okay. One down for you guys. We're down to two. But once the beam's ready, 50 seconds. Then we'll be in control. Uh, okay, that's one more death. That's fine. You distracted him. And we're at 60. Go! Charge the beam! Charge the beam! Okay, all right. He's charging the beam. He moves left. Hello? What's he doing? Piccolo? Fire the beam. Fire the beam, Piccolo. Okay. You should have the eye players min <laughs> This is actually kind of working. Stage and throw hands. No movement needed. Guys, I'm going to I'm going to proactively play the victory music. The Piccolo strategy works. We're fucking geniuses. Dragon Ball Z is the greatest show of all time. That's what that's another life. It's literally right here. If Piccolo can win, if Piccolo can beat Mario one more time, that's level one done. Why isn't she moving right? Piccolo's supposed to do it both directions. Whatever. This is fine. Oh shit. Oh no. No! Okay. Radish figured out the one weakness we have. Which is that he he will not move once he goes off the edge. Dude, we can do this. Why does my AI suck? Why did it start working, but then it wasn't turning afterwards? What was going on? It should do this and then loop it over and over and over. It's because we weren't there to grab his tail. <laughs> okay. So the plan is you guys have to stay alive. You have to stay alive until the charge beam is ready. We can try another stage, but I, it's clearly doable. Maybe I just don't have him turn. Stop the AI from down being. Yeah, the down B is, uh, is problematic for sure. I'll just do more up smashes and down smashes. We'd be able to protect Piccolo better with Kirby. Kirby is not Goku, okay? Try longer sleep after shooting the beam. Well, she wasn't even, like, turning left or right, which doesn't make sense, because I have these turns here. Hey, I don't know Doug, why the turn would just, just not happen. In. What's going on? It's right there. Kirby is Golu. <laughs> Kirby might be Golu. <laughs> Um, dude, what is wrong with this? Ending frames from shooting stop you from turning? Yeah, it's probably that, so I just need to wait longer. Okay, so this is what- okay, so he, she, she waits for 2.2 seconds, turns left. I'll just say waits for a full second. Doug, Presses B, wait for four seconds. Someone said 69. Poggers. Poggers indeed. Waits for four seconds, shoots. Waits for a second. This is going to take a long time. Really slow. Waits for a second. Turns right. I know you're Waits sad. for Get it together. a half, Literally a full second. Like what my mom said when I was a depressed teenager. Yay, parenting. Great parent to you guys. This is gonna be really slow, but it'll probably work. Hey Doug, can you recommend a good sheep divorce attorney? <laughs> Change four to three. Yeah, it was way too long, right? Do three point six nine seconds. All right. This is the one time today, the one time that I will concede and give you guys a 69 joke. Enjoy this. 
she'll press B and then wait for 3.69 seconds. Big win for chat today. All right, so she should be slower, but a little more consistent with getting the charge beams off. We can do this. We almost did it. We can do this. <laughs> now we can't lose. Play on King of Fighters Stadium. It's Terry's stage without ledges. It's the play, my dude. Yeah, but right now in the anime, are there ledges? Riddle me that. I think we have to wait until we're a point in the Dragon Ball Z arc where they're fighting in a room. <laughs> they're on an island, are they? So that means we have to play on the island stage. They haven't even said. Look, let's let's beat the level one computer. Every Dragon Ball Z character can literally apply. Let's beat the computer on Final Destination. We can do that, all right? And then has a much we'll figure out what stage makes sense to the anime. Is Dark Samus' uh, B better? Does anybody know? Damn it, crew. You screwed up the code and now Piccolo is no longer using his special beam. Totally your fault, Rick. <laughs> All right, who looks more like Piccolo? So option one is this. Hold on, let's pull up Piccolo. I don't remember what Piccolo looks like. Why are all the pictures cut off? What? <laughs> who is? It? Piccolo wallpapers. <laughs> this is the worst wallpaper I've ever seen. <laughs> okay, that's him, right? Okay, who is the best Piccolo here? Green Samus or... Hey, Doug. DBs is the sequel to Peglin, a roguelike RPG similar to Pega. You have to play that to know the background. Makes sense. Dark Samus does not look like. Hey, like, Doug. Well, dude. Striker here from the science department. Someone tell the funny ha ha department that we are currently developing more divorce joke chemicals. We just need approval from HQ. That's you, Doug. Look, the divorce jokes will never Doug, not get funny. We need more law. Keep what investing. What do we have to do next? Yoshi looks like Piccolo. <laughs> Yoshi does not look like Piccolo. Yoshi looks like a dinosaur. Yoshi doesn't have the special beam attack. It's the whole reason we pick Samus. <laughs> They're just green, you guys. It's the only. It's the only similarity. You just picked out the one character trait. Uh, fine. We'll be Dark Samus. Piccolo Jesus lays eggs. Wheel. Actual fact. So it's gotta be Yoshi. No, dude. It's not green enough. We're doing normal Samus. We need a we need an in in story reason in the Dragon Ball Z Toriyama arc to switch didn't to Dark Samus. Plan for DB's stories and he'd write them at like three in the morning before he needed to turn them in. It really is convoluted, but it's very fun. Seems fun. Seems like a fun show. I remember I watched one episode when I was like, you know, seven or eight or whatever at my friend's house, and I was like, oh my god, this is insane. It was like the craziest shit ever when you're a kid. Piccolo used to be a vill villain. I don't... Guys, I don't care. <laughs> um, oh, you mean in the context of Dark Samus. I thought you were just trying to give me Piccolo background. Look, don't spoil it for me. Hey, Doug. I just started confused. watching. I just very started Duncan, listening to the show. Here. Onion Knight trial when? Any second now. The Wikipedia page said he was planning to use his special beam cannon. No, we'll, look, we'll get there. Don't spoil it for me. 
Even you need to give spoiler warnings in your messages if you're going to just ruin stronger. Dragon Ball Z lore. What I haven't caught up next yet. For us in our story? I think the next step is for us to win this fight against Radish. If we do that, then we can move on to the next episode and find out what Gohan does. But it's interesting to watch because it's mostly about the chaos. Spoiler, Mario dies. Mario does not die. Is everybody ready? This is it. This is our big moment. This is when we finally live Piccolo up is not to episode four. Piccolo and his demons are all named after instruments, such as drum, tambourine, and piccolo. There's a character named Drum? All right, let's... Okay, we're, we're going too deep into... Doug, I have taken the Peggle Knight's Claude world record from you. You are nothing now. Me wa ha 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 ha. You say that now. Ready. Three, two, one. This is it. This is the moment where all of our charge beam strategies pay off. Don't die, chat. All right, all right. Remember, say Stunner Sage, get some damage in right now. We have 45 more seconds until the charge beam is active. A me both of you jump like off and kill yourself. I don't even understand so why the AI is killing himself. Dragon Ball isn't good. Oh, somebody took a picture. Whoa, that was sweet. What are you doing? That was a kill. Okay, it's two to two to two. This is great so far. You got 25 more seconds until the charge beam. Oh my god, he needs to attack the right direction. This is it. What did you do? That was crazy. That was some Goku shit. That was you taking off your weighted clothes, right? 15 more seconds. Oh my god, what is happening to you? Did you kill yourself? 10 seconds until charge beam. Okay. Oh, almost comboed into you. That was pretty good. That was a smash attack, I think. I don't even know what Hero does, because I haven't watched Dragon Ball Z. Okay, you're dead. But we have the charge beam active. Charge beam's active. Go, 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 go. Shoot him. Let's go. Okay, he's going to fire it to the right now. Look, the charge beam seems to be working. He just has to fire in the right direction, just hopefully. Remember, Doug, if you go forward, you're just one step closer to looking okay, okay, like... Shoot, 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 Piccolo! Yes, let's go! That's not even a kill, and you killed yourself. Okay, if Piccolo just hits once more, that's the, sec the second life. God damn it. Careful, careful. Nice, beautiful roll. Shoot him, Piccolo! God damn it, Mario's amazing. Grab his tail. Nice! Big hit, big hit! All right, guys, this is it. This is the turning point in our anime arc. Secret strategy for us to win. Shoot him right in the face. We need to defeat the enemy. One more, one more, one more, one more. Well, probably like three more. That was big. It's at 40%. I think, what, we need like, maybe like four more of these? And we're good? Hey, I just got here. What's going on? Where's the main character? Why aren't you playing Kirby? He's basically Goku. We need proof of that. Okay, Mario hits Piccolo, faces him the right direction. The beam is going to do less damage three. with every successive shot. I guess that's why we shouldn't be using it at the beginning of the fight. How did that hit? Okay, we need more uh, dramatic music as this comes in. My new financial He's at 90%. Maybe two more shots will do it. He's got to face the right direction. Come on, Piccolo. Get up. Get up, Piccolo! Come on. Take the shot. Take the shot. Let's go. It's got to be one more, right? He's at 100%. We decided to stay together for the Misses the shot. Come on! This is it. This is our big moment. No, no, no. Stay on stage. Stay on stage. Stay on stage! Fuck! The gift radish dies. Can you wear a radish suit, please? And thanks. No. I don't think that's a thing. On a legit note, Dragon Ball Z A Bridge from YouTube is a parody of the show and is one of the funniest shows I've ever watched. Seriously, to all chat, you don't even have to know much of DBs to really enjoy it. Fair. He used his tail rigged. Oh, we're so close. Chad has to grab the tail. Okay. <laughs> Guys, you have to remember. 
Suddenly, Goku manages to grab Raditz's tail, instantly weakening him. The combo is, you guys grab, Piccolo shoots. We know the strategy. Doug, our issue is that Piccolo is wearing clothing. We need Zero Suit Samus. Does Zero Suit Samus have a charge beam? For No, it's just a single shot. You can't charge. It has to be the special beam cannon. Give us the scoop. Look, as the anime progresses, there will be more options hey, Striker here from the for crazy department. stages. We are almost finished with the divorce joke chemicals. We have divorce jokes about animals, anime, cartoons, nice. and even divorce NFTs and cryptocurrency. Nice. We are going for full customization here. This stream is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is the absolute easiest way to make your website. Use the promo code DUGDUG to get 10% off your first order. What is the point of... What is the point of promoting other companies? Um, I do see one problem. What... What Mario suit looks the most like Radish? Yeah, it's this one. All right, that should fix any issues. Everybody ready? You've been moving way too much. If you can stay center stage and use grab, use grab, the grab command again. To grab, you just type, what do you type? You type grab. Or you can also type R or L. But get his tail. Alright. We get a song. This is the song. Bam. <sighs> Go. This. This is the moment where Goku and Piccolo team up to win it all. Come on. Say center stage. Already grabbed him. Got the tail. That's huge. That's huge. He fires right back, which I think he did in the anime too. We just need to keep Piccolo alive. We're at 15 seconds. Okay. Dashes to the middle. Is safe. Just stay safe here. Use the grabs. Use the dash attacks. Use a right smash and down smash and up smash and down smash. And use down B or whatever you did last time that exploded. But don't kill yourself like that one time. All right, this is great so far. You've stalled. We've got 25 more seconds. Piccolo killed himself once. That's fine. 20 more seconds until the charge beam's ready. Don't kill yourself, Piccolo! Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Shit. Piccolo's almost dead. Stall for 15 seconds. Five. Four. Oh, no. Three. Two. One. Charge beam's ready. Go! Literally just killed Mario. Okay, that's perfect. We've got the charge beams active. You guys keep grabbing. Piccolo keeps shooting. Actual genius strategy. Just needs to fire the right direction, hopefully. All right, all right. Keep him away. Keep him away. Where did you go? Fire! This is it. The weaknesses have been discovered. We're grabbing tails and shooting ass. Let's go. Oh, my God. Actually, sick combo. If you can just keep grabbing so Mario can't get close enough to Piccolo to kill him, then we're good. Take the shot, take the shot, take the shot, take the shot. That should kill. Okay, you guys died. That's fine. You still got two more. You still got two more. Just keep Piccolo alive. Stay in the center and grab the tail. One life left for Mario. Already at 20. Oh, don't go off the edge. All right, you, you've got to be a wall between, between Mario and Piccolo. Oh, shit. Oh, that messed up his... No, 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 that messed up the timing. Okay. 
I think we're okay. Oh god. Piccolo's right at the edge. 60% for Mario. Go left. It, Mar Piccolo, you have to stop Piccolo from being hit. If he's hit off the edge, it's a death. Connect! <laughs> oh shit! This is so close. Alright, one more shot to the left. Come on. This is it. This could be the kill shot. Just keep him safe. Piccolo, now! Okay, misses the shot. Just keep it. No, 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 no. Don't let him kill. Don't let him kill. Move left, move left, move left. Get the shot off. Get the shot off. Just distract him. Is that it? That's it! Let's go! Let's fucking go, dude! Didn't even need Piccolo's beam. And that's what happened in the anime, too, right? The beam only worked temporarily. Then Goku had to come in and finish it. Nice job. Grab the fuck out of his tail. <clears throat> Alright. So... We have to move on to the next episode. Who's doing that? Let's watch more DBZ. <laughs> I think you mean listen to more DBZ. We're watching DBZ on audiobook, okay? Okay, we finished the arc of Goku and Piccolo beating Radish. Let's keep listening to understand who the next foe should be. So next up, we're moving on to a level 5 CPU. Or do we just go to level 9? No. Level 5 or level 9? I guess it depends. No, level 5. So we're moving up to a level 5 as our next opponent. We just have to know... We have to figure out who it is. Episode 5. As Raditz tortures Goku, Gohan bursts out of Raditz's spaceship and hurls himself into Raditz with incredible power that stuns and injures the Saiyan. However, Go Gohan's power disappears as quickly as it surfaced, leaving him again? defenseless against his father's attacker, who quickly hits Gohan, knocking him out. Raditz intends to kill Gohan, who he views as the only person capable of defeating him. In a last-ditch effort to save his son, Goku grabs Raditz in a hole that leaves both of them open to Piccolo's special beam cannon. Goku urges Piccolo to use it, even if it costs his own life. You guys did Piccolo say that. Piccolo then starts to wonder whether or not he should use it. Despite that happened Raditz's as well. pleas for mercy, Piccolo lets loose his attack, which hits both Goku and Raditz, killing the latter. Okay, Thinking so we followed already the anime won, perfectly. Piccolo tells Raditz about the Dragon Balls. Once he's heard everything, Raditz tells Piccolo that his scouter is also a transmitter and that in one year's time, two more Saiyans, more powerful than Raditz, will arrive on Earth to destroy everyone. Okay, we, so we destroy Goku we, lives we to see Raditz. Bulma, Rushi and Krillin arrive and hear that the unconscious Gohan is alive, but thereafter dies, leaving his body to be taken by Kami. Wait, Goku Far died? away on another planet. Nappa and Vegeta plan to visit Earth and wish for immortality using the Dragon Balls. You got... you're dead? Okay, so I guess you have to move to a new character. That'll justify you being Kirby, I guess. Or are you Gohan now? I don't know. Let's keep going. We have to keep going until we get to the next antagonist. To prepare, to prepare for this, for threat, this threat, Kami takes Kami? Goku to the other world for training with the legendary martial arts master, King Kai. But in order to get to King Kai... Hey, Goku's dead, right? There's a lot of filler. Kami is Japanese for God, but he's dead. Okay. Does death mean anything in the show? Okay, let's keep going. Um... But in order to get to King Kai... He must first cross a treacherous path called Snake Way. Only one person has ever successfully crossed it, King Yima. King Yima tells Goku not to fall off Snake Way or he will never return. <laughs> Goku starts the long journey by flying over the path, until eventually he runs out of energy and must continue on foot. 
Okay. Back on planet Earth, Piccolo regenerates his arm <laughs> and decides to take Gohan under his wing and train him with the hope right. of tapping into his hidden no, power. It's, this is a training arc. Next up is a training arc on Serpent Road. Piccolo and forces him to train using fear. <laughs> what? Bulma studies the circuitry of Raditz's scouter and agrees with Master Roshi that Krillin should be the one to tell <laughs> Shishi the recent Shishi? news of Goku and Gohan. <laughs> what? Okay, next next stage we're playing on is Snake Way. <laughs> I think that's the scoop level. Chi Chi is his wife. <laughs> Hold on. We level okay, level five computer has to be a training arc while we wait for Vegeta. Skip forward to Nappa. It, it, when do we get to Vegeta? Is Vegeta the next antagonist? Snake Way is Shadow Moses. It's got to be Hyrule Bridge. No, it's got to be Scoop. Episode 16 is where it starts back up. We don't have time for that. <laughs> Vegeta is the final antagonist. Wait, how long until Vegeta? Maybe Nappa will be the level. Who's the level 9 CPU? <laughs> we have time. Nappa and then Vegeta. How many, how many episodes until Vegeta? Frieza level nine. Hold on. We're not going to, we're not going to listen to the entire show. A lot of episodes. No, we're not going to listen to the entire show. Isn't Vegeta like a main character? It's over 9,000 episodes before we get to Vegeta. I don't think that's true. 200. Okay. 420. Nice. When does he show up? When is that fight? It's got to be at least 50 episodes before Goku fights Vegeta. Jesus Christ. He's two fights away. Why are we trying to comprehend Dragon Ball Z? It's to understand the anime arc that we have to go through to become powerful enough to defeat a level 9 CPU. It's obvious. You have to understand that Twitch chat is an anime. Do episode breakdowns from DBZ Kai. Nappa and Vegeta arrive in episode 15. Thank you, Mordreus. Okay. Although we probably won't fight. Do they fight Nappa and then and then Vegeta? Don't just look at the wiki. No, I don't want to get spoilers. Nothing happens on Snake Bridge. <laughs> they fight veggies first. Okay, so they fight Nap. Okay, we can they can do Nappa and then Vegeta. They fight a plant dude. <laughs> Goku and Vegeta fight on 24. All right, guys, buckle in. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna keep listening to Dragon Ball Z until we're fighting Nappa. Okay, this is episode seven. Piccolo leaves Gohan alone in the wilderness for six months so he can learn to take care of himself, just that like his father seem. did as a child. Even though there are dangerous animals in the wild, Gohan's hidden powers help him escape but also get him stuck on a really tall boulder, <laughs> from which he can't get down. High above, Kami tells Mr. Popo that in a year's time, both he and Piccolo will die from unknown causes, and that if Piccolo knew this it might have been what caused his slow change of heart towards Gohan. Whoa, 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 whoa. Both he and Piccolo will die from unknown causes, and that if Piccolo knew this, it might have been what caused his slow change- what? Meanwhile, Krillin tries to break the news about Goku and Gohan to Shishi, but is too scared. So he's like ultra powerful, but his weakness is getting stuck on a boulder. Okay. Episode 8. We just have to learn all of the background of Twitch chat's anime story arc to beat a level 5 CPU. As Krillin and the others try to find the Dragon Balls after Bulma adjusts the eyepiece for their use, she she arrives with her father to search for Goku and Gohan, and Master Roshi is forced to tell Shishi the truth himself, Roshi? upon which she faints. Yaira appears with a task for Krillin, he must Ooh. bring him to Chien and Kiyatsu to Korin oh. Tower in preparation for the Saiyan's <laughs> arrival. So Before where? he leaves, he also tells them that Baba is coming to tell them <laughs> that Goku wishes to be brought back just before the Saiyan's arrival. Okay. That night, back at the wilderness, Gohan sees the full moon for the first time and goes through the same transformation <laughs> as his father once did, becoming a giant ape-like creature, known as a great ape. 
Gohan okay. then proceeds to destroy the surrounding you area, guys are Gohan unable now, to right? control his new monster's You're Donkey Kong power. for sure. Piccolo, who had been watching Gohan, destroys the moon <laughs> to stop the rampaging Gohan. Gohan reverts to his normal, <laughs> naked form, and with no moon, the chance of the incoming Saiyans to transform is gone. Just what? to be safe, Piccolo pulls Gohan's tail off before giving him new clothes with a symbol on it and a sword. <laughs> Finally, Piccolo this, again leaves this Gohan like by himself. This sounds made this. This is nonsense. This is absolute nonsense. <laughs> okay, episode 9. I think we've learned if you guys are Gohan because Goku's dead, you're definitely Donkey Kong. Okay, After episode 9. After waking up from his transformation, Gohan finds his tail gun and a new set of clothes that resemble his father's gi. But he has no time to figure out what happened, as hungry animals descend upon him. Gohan escapes, but falls into a cave where he finds an ancient capsule corporation robot that's been trapped for over 30 years, and it's not what? too pleased about having company. Should I know Wanting who that is? to escape the cave, he seeks the robot for help, but it's not interested. However, the robot lets out his soft side and helps Gohan get some mushrooms to okay, eat. Maybe the AI is the later mushroom when robot. Gohan tries to help the robot escape. The cave starts collapsing and the robot helps him, throwing him to safety. All right. Dude, pogs for the mushroom bot. That's an entire episode. <laughs> what happened in this? This is like 30 minutes, right? <laughs> okay, this one's two sentences. <laughs> Okay, this is 30 minutes. Here we go. Krillin and Bulma find Yamcha and Puer. <laughs> Krillin <laughs> tells Yamcha of the important news, and they start heading to Korin Tower on the Capsule Corporation ship with the others. Okay. As Gohan becomes more like his father in bravery, power, and benevolence, he finds a wounded dinosaur <laughs> and aids it in recovering. He then tries to defend it from a hungry predator. So he goes to his ship and finds a dinosaur. That's 25 minutes. That's 25 minutes of airtime. <laughs> Put the start of the episode in a novel AI. <laughs> no, 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 hold on. We're getting too off track. Uh, okay, real quick. Uh, I don't remember what my password is for Novel AI. Uh oh. Maybe? Okay, I signed in. Okay, we're going to take the last two episodes, which made no sense, and put them into Novel AI and see what it says. What would episode 11 be? <laughs> All right, so Gohan just found a dinosaur. Gohan meets an old friend named Nappa who wants to join the fight against Frieza, but Goku doesn't want him to come along. Nappa argues that he's just as strong as Goku or Vegeta, so why shouldn't he be allowed? When Gohan says that he can't lead Lappa along because he might cause trouble, Nappa goes to find them anyway. While looking for them, he encounters Piccolo, who had just finished training, and gets into a fight with him. They defeat each other, but Nappa claims that he's going to train harder than ever before and leaves. This absolutely could be a Dragon Ball Z episode. This is indistinguishable from what I've been reading. So true. When Krillin and Gohan return home, Krillin informs them that he's received word from Vegeta and Trunks, who are also returning. The group is welcomed back by Goten, Trunks, and Yamcha, but there's still no sign of Goku. Gohan, Krillin, and Yamcha go to the house to see if he's returned yet, only to find that the house is surrounded by angry people demanding answers about their missing family members. The three leave the house and decide to head to the Kame house to look for him. At the Kame house, they meet up with Bulma, who's pre busy preparing for her wedding. Who is Bulma? Okay, this is this is an issue. Like a, a novel AI just writes accurate Dragon Ball Z episodes. Dragon Ball Z is so incoherent that the AI does not make it any funnier. 
Okay, episode 11. Goku continues, Goku continues his seemingly endless journey on Snake Way. Deep in space, the Saiyan warriors... Okay, here we go, here we go, here are the next two guys. ...make a stop the on a CPUs. planet called Arla and become prisoners to their tyrant king. When they are called before the king, they break their bonds and kill the guards. The king summons his giant monster on them, but they easily take care of them both. The other Arlans are the grateful both? of the Saiyans for killing their tyrant king. They proclaim that Vegeta and Nappa will always receive a hero's welcome on Arla. Despite all of this, Vegeta <laughs> destroys the entire planet. Okay. <clears throat> this this one is uh, three sentences. Let's see what this 25-minute episode was. Gohan <laughs> trains hard in the wilderness, while Piccolo trains himself. Meanwhile, Krillin and Bulma are still trying to find Jien and Kiyotsu so they can <laughs> begin a... training with Kami. <laughs> Unfortunately for Jien and Kiyotsu, Launch isn't very willing to part with her company. Who is Launch? This sentence is so Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Krillin and Burma are trying to find Tien and Chiatsu so they can begin training with Kami. It's just nonsense. All right, episode 13. I'm invested, dude. This is great. Goku accidentally falls from Snake Way into Hell, where he finds a fruit <laughs> tree. Goku is famished, so he tries to take a piece. However, the tree belongs to King Yima, and the two only there, Goz and Mez, will do anything it takes to stop Goku from acquiring the fruit. They explain that it is a special fruit that will keep whoever eats it full for a long time. Goz and Mez have their own tests to give. The first isn't very successful, but the second was. To their great surprise, Goku what? wins the race. Frustrated, they direct Goku to a shortcut back to Snake Way. Goku reveals that he has stolen a piece of fruit from the tree. Unfortunately, this leads back to King Yima, and Goku must start all over. The fruit? However, after eating the fruit he is much faster and will not get as tired. Okay. I just came back into this from an hour and a half ago. Look, we're learning about the backstory of Twitch chat's anime development. This is important to understanding how to beat a level 5 computer. I should update the title. Alright, episode 14. Why won't you wear a this suit? They don't have- people don't sell radish suits. Even though Goku has to start all over on Snake Way, he quickly catches up where he was last thanks to King Yima's fruit. He sees a castle and up ahead, and assumes it must belong to King Kai. He enters the castle, only to find out that it belongs to Princess Snake. Who? The princess finds Goku very attractive, so she does everything she can to keep him there. Goku tries several times to leave, but finally, she is forced to show her true form. In her new, horrible form, she captures Goku, but he is able to break free and continue down Snake Way. Cool. Yep, just... How many more until there's an antagonist again? What is this first sentence? Piccolo splits himself in half, and the two <laughs> forms fight each other. Piccolo <laughs> uses this method to train by himself at a high intensity. Oh, Meanwhile, okay, training. Gohan sleds down a sandy hill. After he crashes, <laughs> he tries to find a way out of wherever he's to his mother. What? After coming to the same spot he originally was at first, he Today's realizes he must be on an Shadow island. Legends, Brainstorming, no, he builds a boat, so he can pay a quick visit to his mother, whom he misses. As he drifts on the sea at night, a huge storm begins heading Gohan's way, and he can't swim. Models. I'm sure Goku and Piccolo is just taking Mario out of the wedding. Okay, episode 16. That's like eight more, right? Until... Until Vegeta? Gohan is able to survive the storm, and he washes up on the shore. There he finds a group of orphans living on their own. The wiki the gave you the wrong episode the area number. Are trying we have to no capture idea. them and take them to an orphanage. After telling them his goal, Pajero, their leader, 
designs a plan to get Gohan home, and get all of the orphans to a safe location. The adults come, and Pajero and Gohan are able to defend the themselves the against the adults, but Pajero suddenly realizes something, the children will be better off at the orphanage. Knowing this, he lets the adults capture the other orphans. He takes Gohan to the woods near his house, and then drives off. Gohan gets within sight of his home, of but cars? decides not to go in, knowing how important it is that he train for the Saiyans. Piccolo, hovering above him, sees all of this, and takes Gohan back to begin his martial arts training. Are there cars in Dragon Ball Z? This is, there's so much implied here. I thought it was like, there are? Is it like modern day? Okay. Somebody said episode Doug 16 is when Nappa. Um, okay, Mr. Popo, Planet Vegeta. Okay. Uh, when, no spoilers, what episode do they fight somebody again? Vegeta has your hairline. <laughs> There are spaceships. 22. Okay, we're almost there. Five more episodes. Gohan's real training is about to begin, as Piccolo trains him in the martial arts. Wait, Gohan Uncommies is back? Kami's lookout, Imcha, Jien, Krillin, and Kiyatsu want to get the same training as Goku did. So, Mr. Popo takes them to the pendulum room where the past, present, and future intertwine. Krillin and the others use the room and are sent to planet Vegeta in the past, facing what? two powerful Saiyan warriors. <laughs> After a horrifying battle, the Z fighters continue their training with more motivation. <laughs> what is planet Vegeta in the past? Okay, whatever, that makes sense. Classic filler episode. Episode 18. After a rough day of training with Piccolo, Gohan rests for the next day. Gohan has a bad dream no involving Raditz beating on. his father, and he suddenly wakes up. This is Gohan what every looks up at the moon which has like. mysteriously reappeared, and overcome <laughs> by his nightmares of Goku's death, <laughs> he loses the moon was control of himself and attacks Piccolo, who has Everyone arrived to see what's going on. Piccolo does his best to stop him. But once Gohan grows his tail back and changes into a great ape with another gaze at the moon, he is powerless to stop him. Piccolo tries to destroy the moon, <laughs> but finds that it is a projection from Goku's old spaceship. Goku's Piccolo a spaceship? destroys the ship, reversing the transformation. Meanwhile, after a long trip, Goku finally makes it to King Kai's planet <laughs> and Wait, finds a friendly I little he monkey, Snake Road. whom he believes to be King Kai. While mimicking the monkey's movements under the belief his training started, Goku stops upon meeting a blue sentient being. Dude, what? So... I thought Go Goku's dead, right? Or something? Okay, this will, I'm sure this will make sense as soon as we get to Vegeta. Alright, ready? Go! As Gohan's training gets harder every day, Goku officially meets King Kai, King Kai reveals the Saiyans Kai. will arrive on Earth in 88 days. His oh, first no. task is like to catch 20. the monkey, whose name is Bubbles, but it's not going to be easy. <laughs> the gravity on this tiny planet is 10 times. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna restart this. How do I restart? The gravity on this tiny pl As Gohan's training gets harder every day, Goku officially meets King Kai. King Kai reveals the Saiyans will arrive on Earth in 88 days. This sentence needed more dramatic music. King Kai reveals the Saiyans will arrive on Earth in 88 days. His first task is to catch the monkey, <laughs> whose name is Bubbles, but it's not going to be easy. The gravity on this tiny planet is 10 times that of Earth, making it hard for Goku to even stand up. I thought up. he was dead. What Jesus planet Just is he on? Just when Goku is losing hope, he gets inspired Aerosol, after learning thank you for that the, his people for withstand the different thank fighting you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. and that planet Vegeta's gravity is the same as King Kai's planet. After three weeks, Goku conquers the gravity and so catches Bubbles. You were very good looking, I'm on drugs. Don't worry, it's Dr. Prescribe. Classic divorce law. Okay, three more episodes. 
there is literally this a series will finally of all start to, to make sense. episodes that is just Goku screaming and talking to himself. I just read the first. <laughs> just read the first sentence. <sighs> okay. Goku's next task. Goku's next task in King Kai's training is to hit the grasshopper, Gregory, <laughs> with a heavy mallet. After a long chase, it seems that Goku can't hit Gregory yet. Okay. While taking a break, King Kai tells Goku about the Saiyan people. Okay. They were a warrior race who shared I'm gonna get planet water. Vegeta you guys with the smarter, the weaker, Watch this and fill me in. After a long war, Wait, the Saiyans what? overpowered and destroyed the Tufnels and stole their technology. The Saiyans became space pirates and began cleansing planets of civilizations and selling them. Eventually, the Saiyans and planet Vegeta were destroyed by a meteor shower, though only four Saiyans were able to survive. Goku Kakuro, Raditz, Vegeta and Nappa. Willing to stop the Saiyans from destroying Earth, Goku continues his training and manages to hit Gregory. Now King Kai will train Goku himself in the ways of the Kaioken. Okay, I missed that. I assume it's not important. Okay, we're almost at the fighting. After 70 days of hard training with King Kai, Goku has gotten much stronger and faster. But, the Saiyans are going to arrive the next day, so Goku speaks to Master Roshi telepathically through King Kai. He asks him to use the Dragon Balls to wish him back. Suddenly, King Kai realizes that he forgot to account for the time it will take Goku to go back down Snake Way. With no time to waste, Goku leaves King Kai's planet and races down Snake Way. Okay, I think we're almost there. Yes, here we go, here we go. All right. So after literally like 20 episodes of filler, I think the Saiyans are finally back at Earth. And this after is the next opponent we're going to fight. After travel, the two Saiyans, Vegeta and Nappa, arrive on Earth. To celebrate their arrival, Nappa completely destroys East City with ease by creating an energy blast. Okay. Vegeta chastises Nappa, as he could have also destroyed the Dragon Balls. Sensing their power, the Z Fighters mobilize for an attack. The Saiyans search for any large power levels with their scouters, and they head toward Piccolo and Gohan. Just when Krillin shows up to help, the Saiyans also arrive. Okay. Piccolo learns that he's a Namekian because Vegeta what? recognizes the green skin that is typical okay. of Namekians. Yeah, Yirob knows the threat as well, <laughs> but instead of stopping them, he poses as the leader of Earth's special forces <laughs> to get free food. Okay. I don't. Okay. So, who's Nappa? Who are we? Let's get another episode. This hasn't clarified anything. Just to have some fun. Vegeta and Nappa grow some weird creatures, called Saibaman, to test their <laughs> opponent's strength. Okay, so maybe Suddenly, Nappa is, Tien, um, Olimar and Yimta Pikmin? arrive to join the battle. Tien is the first to go up against one of the Saibaman. Thanks to his training, Tien easily beats one of them. Angry at his failure, Vegeta destroys the losing Saibaman. Yimcha is up against the next Saibaman, and it seems he, too, is stronger. But his opponent grabs Yamcha and self-destructs, killing them both. Yamcha's dead? Who is Yamcha? Yamcha has been killed by the Sabaman's surprise explosion. Back I'm at trying the to visualize house, this, everyone but mourns I don't his get... death, especially Balma. Aren't and they in the middle of a fight? Angered by losing him. Krillin fights the remaining Saibaman. He fires a powerful energy attack that completely destroys four of the remaining Saibaman, with Piccolo killing the last Saibaman. Okay, However, we're almost there. The real there we battle go. Real is about to, about to begin, begin. Because, because the Saiyan the Nappa steps up to fight, right, Sna which Nappa proves to be up. much stronger than any of them. As Jin gets beaten up by Nappa and loses his right arm, Kiyotsu latches onto Nappa's back and explodes in Akemike's attempt to destroy the Saiyan after a telepathic goodbye to Tien. Unfortunately, the maneuver has little effect on Nappa. I'm not clear at all about who's winning. You guys are Gohan, right? Piccolo and Krillin do their best against Nappa, but the Saiyan is much too strong for them. Using all the power he has, 
Jian fires an attack to avenge his fallen friend, but it is still not enough to stop the rampaging Nappa. With the attack having no effect, Jian believes he has failed and dies. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the the Texas speech is really sad there. Alright. We gotta figure out what's the With main Jian fight. Gone, who are the two main only people Piccolo, who fight? Krillin and Gohan remain to fight, and they begin to wonder when Goku will show up. They tell Vegeta that Goku is far more powerful than any of them, and the Saiyan Prince can't resist the thought of a better fight, as he has grown bored of the relatively weak Earthlings. He tells Nappa that they will wait three hours for Goku. Instead of standing around for three hours, Nappa flies around the world destroying everything in his path to kill some time. Goku arrives on Earth, but he is far away from the battlefield. The three hours are up. So Vegeta tells Nappa to continue the fight. Okay. Jesus. Or is it gonna happen? Is this the main fight? This is the main fight, right? Right here. Episode 27. Here's the second opponent. As Goku heads toward the battlefield right. Here's on his where we Nimbus learn Clued, how Piccolo, we will defeat Krillin, Nappa. and Gohan devise a plan to stop Nappa. They plan to pull his tail, which will <laughs> weaken him really? enough to take him out. Is that like a huge As deal? Piccolo okay, we gotta Nappa's grab his tail. tail. <laughs> Gohan rushes to finish the fight. However, it seems that Nappa and Vegeta have evolved past their weaknesses, and they are no longer crippled when their tail is grabbed. With their plan of failure, Nappa begins to pound on Piccolo and Krillin. Only Gohan is left to fight. And the young Saiyan unleashes a powerful blast against Nappa. Okay, another powerful Enraged blast. Enraged by Gohan's attack, Nappa fires a blast at Gohan that could finish him off. Okay, However, Nappa's having firing grown a blast fond of Gohan, Gohan, Piccolo protects Gohan by taking the full blunt of Nappa's attack. Okay, this is it. We know the strategy. Twitch chat is Gohan, who's a child who turns into a gigantic ape, I think. The AI is still Piccolo. The Piccolo has to protect you guys from the full force of Nappa's powerful blast. So who's Nappa? What does Nappa look like? <laughs> okay. Who's <laughs> Who's Nappa then? What character is Nappa? Nappa is Golu. Ganon. Ryu. Kazuya? No, Gohan should be... It said Gohan turned into a giant ape, right? Gohan, giant ape. This is Donkey Kong, dude. Gohan is DK. Nappa is Jesus. There's no Jesus character in Smash Bros. He's Ganondorf? Okay, Ganondorf? Nappa. Ganondorf? Nappa. They've got the same... They've got the same, like, shoulder pads, kind of. <clears throat> He's literally Kazuya. Yeah, Kazuya, I think, fits better. He's got too much hair. <clears throat> That's the only issue. <clears throat> He's bald like Olimar. He doesn't look like Olimar. Captain Falcon? Captain Falcon. Eh. Olimar is the Cyberman, though. Yeah, that's true. Olimar might actually be the best fit. Olimar has hair. What's the problem? Kirby. He's not Kirby. Ugh. Why are there no bald people in Smash? There's lots of bald, like, circular creatures, like Pac-Man or Kirby or Jigglypuff. 
No, wait, no, Jigglypuff has hair. Sorry. He's King K. Rool. No, King K. Rool is more of a Piccolo. He looks nothing like him. <clears throat> wait, who made the Cybermen? <clears throat> it was Nappa, right? Nappa made the oops. Nappa made the side the plant people, right? That's that's an argument for that's definitely an argument for Pikmin. Or did Vegeta do that? I don't remember. I'm gonna be honest, man. This, this filler, he did. Nappa made them. Okay, it's Olimar. Olimar is the most appropriately bald and makes uh, Cybermen plant people. <clears throat> And then who are you? Yeah, you're Gohan. You're Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. Oh, I've got it. I know what we have to do. No, he's not Diddy Kong, so you turn into a giant ape. <coughs> No, 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 no. Look, I've got this figured out. Okay. Gohan is definitely Donkey Kong because he turns into a giant ape for some fucking reason when he looks at the moon. Piccolo is definitely King K. Rule because he powered up more since the last fight. So now he's bigger. And in this battle, Piccolo protects Gohan by taking the full blunt of Nappa's attack. King K. Rule has a deflect attack. That's perfect. And of course, Nappa is Olimar, because he's bald, kind of, and also made plant people or something. This fits perfectly. What's the stage? That's the only issue. Where are they fighting? I have no idea where they're fighting. It just says battlefield. They're just on a battlefield. On a desert wasteland. We need to trade against Bubbles the monkey. No, you'll be fine. You listen to the lore. You'll be fine. Somewhere in a flatland type area. Near Kami's house. We do Tortimer Island. I know it's still level one. I it hasn't started yet. Uh, I will change it before I start. Uh, Gar Plain, Gerudo Valley. This is Vegeta. He was a prison bitch. Gerudo could work if it's like a wasteland. That makes sense. Okay, so we're doing Gerudo Valley, and then you are Olimar. Okay, and then, oh shit, we're gonna need to change the code. There's no moon, so Gohan can't turn into a monkey. It's fine, he just turned into a monkey right before this. He's more like Lucas in the final fight. The moon got blown up. Wait, so we need <laughs> we need a stage that has a moon. Does any stage have the moon in it? They do have radish suits. Look it up. The Majora's Mass one. <laughs> we will definitely not survive on Great Bay. Great Bay is impossible. This reminds <laughs> me of Game of Thrones. Too many characters and not enough battles. Oh, we also need to change it. Okay, we're getting too off track. We're going to go with this. Um, there does Goku... Sorry, does Piccolo switch to anything after one minute? He could switch to just I his deflect attack to save, to save chat. To fight itself. <laughs> we get... Uh, we have... We have him suddenly just start doing down, like, down bees, right? To do the deflect attack. So he just starts defending all the time. I'll make this half. Uh, eh, that'll probably work. 
if Gohan is a giant monkey, then Nappa would be one as well since they're both Saiyans. So do Saiyans all turn into monkeys with the moon? Like, this is fine. I feel like we're fine. Why do the colors change on these guys? They have tails. Gohan isn't monkey until Vegeta. This is fine. The show doesn't make any sense. My you Smash Bros. fight doesn't have to make any sense. sense. It's all the money my ex-wife left me after the divorce that you caused by streaming. All right, at, thank you. After like a fucking hour, we are finally playing Smash Bros. again. Go! This is the second okay, anime nice arc of Twitch chat play Smash Bros. Thank you, Proxy. Remember, you gotta grab his tail again. We have to grab his tail. It's not gonna be as effective, but it's still important. Are you literally just down being the whole time? Oh, almost with the forward smash. Nice. Honestly, guys, this is going great. But, okay, he was pulled out his Cyberman. Uh, Piccolo almost killed him. Down B seems to be pretty effective for what you guys are doing. And the AI's done a good job of just being prickly. We, we are currently winning, to be clear. It's the Cyberman from Dr. B. Cannon Wheel. Just keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep mixing it up. You know, little changes here and there. No, stay to the right. Careful, careful, careful. Okay, uh, it looks like it looks like Piccolo has changed to just deflex. Look at Dragon Ball Z of Bridge Kai Episode 1. Oh! Forge Smash! Alright, we're, 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 that's one down, one down, let's go! Nice stuff. Uh, Piccolo is just sitting over here defending against a beam attack. So if you guys are ever in danger, Mario just stand near Piccolo. Taylor kicks his ass. Tails are important. Okay, nice. You're bringing him over. Uh-oh. What is the fire? What is going on? He looks just like you know. Okay, we're still technically in the lead. Wait, Piccolo! <laughs> Piccolo actually defended! Alright, the AI successfully countered. Same hate time. Counter! Counter the right direction! He's not turning, he's just sitting there countering. Piccolo is fucking worthless, dude. Can you get- okay. Get- get Olimar on the right side so that the counter will actually do something. You got to smash short pass on his Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> no. We want to know. I'd pass on all of them. I don't know what any of them look like. Oh, brutal hit. Counter him. Counter him. Go, Piccolo! <laughs> He's just... <laughs> Wait, he got a hit. All right. Great job. You guys recovered. Whoa, holy shit. You're alive. Amazing. Amazing job. Again, it's two to two to two. We have the lead. Thanks, Bridge Boy. Nice. Hit him up there. Dude, you guys are doing incredibly. All your training paid off. Dude! Solid up here. That was crazy. Holy shit. And we just got a counter on the left side. One more. One more and we beat Nappa. Lou, thank you for the two months. Two years, excuse me. I think we can all agree. Piccolo's doing the real work here. I probably should have made it longer before he just starts countering. Nice hit, nice hit. Okay, now he gets the counter here. Get the counter here. This could save the episode. <laughs> okay. Deflects the attack. Professor Bebop, thank you. Deflect. Oh, shit. He knocked you off the edge. Careful, careful, careful. You've only got one left. Careful on the movement. Careful on the movement. We can't leave this down to Piccolo. 
Whoa, that's a hit! Almost to death! One more counter, and I think Piccolo saves. That's it! Piccolo does it! Let's go, dude! Oh! Like an hour of listening to Dragon Ball Z paid off. First try! How did that work? <laughs> I feel like that shouldn't work, man. Level 5 computers are fairly competent. <laughs> it even played out exactly like the anime. Incredible. Is there anything Dragon Ball Z can't do? Name one thing. <sighs> Oof. Shiny, thank you so much for the two years. All right. Um, well, good news. That means we're back to listening to a hey, shitload of Dragon Ball hey, Z. Hey, when do we do Twitch chat plays Dragon D's balls at the anime? Got him. Does anyone know how long it's going to be before we fight Vegeta? Look, buckle in. We might be listening to a lot of Dragon Ball Z now. Buckle in, everybody. <clears throat> Episode 27. As Goku heads toward the battlefield on his Nimbus Clued, Piccolo, <laughs> Krillin, and Gohan devise a plan right. to stop Nappa. They plan sure to pull we'll his tail, which will weaken him enough to take him out. As Piccolo grabs Nappa's tail, Gohan rushes to finish the fight. However, it seems that Nappa and Vegeta have evolved past their weaknesses, and they are no longer oh, crippled wait. when their tail is grabbed. With their plan a failure, Nappa begins to pound on- Okay. We already watched the Clut episode. Episode 28. Piccolo makes the ultimate sacrifice, and dives in front of Gohan to block Nappa's attack. That's exactly what happened. As Piccolo dies, he tells Gohan that he's his only friend, and how sorry he is about being so hard sorry. on him during training. Okay. With so Piccolo's Piccolo dead, dead, Kami and the Dragon Balls are also gone, meaning that no one can be wished back. When all hope seems lost for Earth, Goku finally arrives. Let's go. After Just giving Gohan and Krillin a Saint Zabine, Goku learns what happened to his friends. What? Angered, Goku takes out his frustration on the hulking Nappa. What does the bean do? Goku is able to easily beat Nappa, thanks okay. to King Kai's training. So Nappa's out With of the picture now. With a power level in the thousands, he is vastly <laughs> superior to the man who so easily defeated his friends. Goku avenges all of his friends. <laughs> Having seen a enough plot. of the fight, Vegeta orders Nappa to stop and let him fight Goku. To have some more fun, Nappa decides to attack Gohan and Krillin, only to be stopped by Goku's Kaioken attack. What is Unable to move, Nappa asks Vegeta for help, but the cruel prince does not tolerate weakness. Vegeta kills Nappa with a sadistic display of power. Oh shit! Okay, all right, this is it. All right, this is the sick son of a bitch we gotta beat. That's some level nine CPU shit right there. Now, do we start fighting him immediately? Or is it like 30 more filler episodes? Goku instructs Krillin and Gohan to leave the battlefield as he doesn't want them to get hurt. With no one in their way, Goku and Vegeta begin their fight for the fate oh, of the let's Earth. Go. Even with Goku using his Kaioken technique, Vegeta okay. is still more so powerful. So this, this is what we come down to. It's Goku, Goku and Vegeta. Goku has no choice but to try a Kaioken X2. But even with this increase in power, he still can't overpower Vegeta. His only choice is to try a Kaioken X3, <laughs> but the incredible surge in power could destroy his body. Like, the whole show is just like, this number got bigger during this fight. It's like not... It's not, like, interesting. What? A Kaioken times three? What does that mean? That doesn't mean anything. Jesus Christ, this is huge. Okay, this is a big episode. This is where we're gonna learn what happens. Thanks to the Kaioken X3 technique, 
Goku has the upper hand against Vegeta, which infuriates the Saiyan Prince. Uh oh. I don't know how saying going. Thank you for subscribing to see Shanty Facts. The famous song my mother told me was made for the History Channel TV show, Vikings. It was based on our old Icelandic poem. Unfortunately you won't hear it in the game Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Even though the song on the peg... Uh... Thank you. I'm gonna sign up for an account. Uh, please hold. One sec. I gotta sign up for this. I have to learn the rest of the story. And it has to be in that voice for some reason. You can, uh, dance rock in the chat. Wait, it's build gear? No, no! They're trying to get me to pay for a year. Thanks, Doug. My wife just left me, and I'm really enjoying your content. Dance, Bob. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Uh-oh. One sec. Almost logged in. Dance Frog's over. <clears throat> Back to Dragon Ball Z. Can't wait for Goku Thanks to, to the Kaioken X3 technique, Goku has the upper hand against Vegeta, which infuriates okay. the Saiyan Prince. So we need Prince. a character with a Kaioken he X3 decides technique. that if he can't beat Goku, he will destroy the Earth, and flies high up in the air and fires his Gallic gun attack. And Vegeta is a character Goku that needs to have a Gallic gun. Goku unleashes wave, and the two energy blasts meet in Madare. Madare. Goku and Vegeta pour all of their energy into this attack. Okay, and so after a long struggle, blast at each Vegeta's other. blast is pushing Goku's back, even with Goku using the Kaioken X3 attack. Even with attack. the Kaioken X3 attack. With no choice left, Goku uses a Kaioken X4 <laughs> attack, and with the extra power, <laughs> he is able to blast Vegeta into space. Okay. However, Vegeta is able to recover, enraged that Goku's power is superior to his. Vegeta decides to become a great ape for his rematch with Goku. What? The Saiyan Prince starts searching for the full moon, but cannot find it. So we're gonna fight Donkey to Kong? Piccolo having destroyed it before the Saiyan's arrival. Thinking Goku must have blown up the moon just to prevent him from transforming, Vegeta returns to Earth where Goku was completely spent and claims to have a trick up his sleeve. He tells Goku the origin of how Saiyans transform into great apes through blood waves. The power of a planet's moon creates the blot's waves, and he can create and launch his own artificial moon into the sky in the event a planet has no moon. Absorbing the blot's waves reflecting from the artificial moon, okay, so we Vegeta gotta fight begins with to transform waves. into a great ape as Goku looks on in horror. Is it Donkey Meanwhile, Kong? 
Krillin and Gohan feel the tremendous surge in energy coming from the battlefield, and decide to head back. Okay, who- alright. You guys are Goku. Who's Goku? Kazuya? And you have to beat Donkey Kong. <laughs> are you Ken? Who are you? You're Ken, right? You're Ken or Ryu. Oh yeah, okay, you've gotta be Ryu. And then you can shoot your Kamehameha attack, which is the Hadouken attack. Who is Ch Who is the AI here? Is it Gohan? Alright, who comes into the battle? By creating an artificial moon with a specialized ball of energy completed with Blot's <laughs> waves, Vegeta transforms into a great sentence. ape. But unlike most other Saiyans, he has complete control of himself while in this transformed state. Upon seeing Sipon Vegeta's seen. ape form, Goku remembers transforming into an ape as a child, AI realizing <laughs> he unintentionally killed his grandpa Gohan. Luckily, Goku has one last attack that could finish Vegeta, the spirit bomb. As Gohan and Krillin return to the battlefield, Goku is able to create the bomb. Vegeta, however, is able to prevent Goku from using it. With no energy left, Goku is now at the mercy of Vegeta. Do we turn on items and put on bombs? <laughs> okay, who... <laughs> who? Who is the AI here? Hero DLC has a bomb. Oh yeah, that's true. Oh no no. No, but who if the AI is Gohan, so he's just like a kid? One more episode, okay. One more, one more. Gohan and Krillin arrive at the yeah, battlefield. Gohan's at the battle. But have to be quick to save Goku, who is being pounded mercilessly by Ape Vegeta. Krillin devises a plan to stop Vegeta cut off the Saiyan Prince's tail. As Krillin prepares to fire the Destructo Disc, Gohan distracts <laughs> Vegeta, but the Saiyan Prince is too smart for their tricks, and foils their plot. <gasps> Suddenly, uh. Yai Rob appears out of nowhere <laughs> and cuts Vegeta's tail off, causing him to revert to his normal form. Unfortunately, he still proves too powerful to be stopped by the remaining Z fighters. One more episode. What is the Destructo Disc? Okay, one one more. This episode has to tell us who the AI is. We know As who Goku... Gohan fights against Vegeta, Goku gives Krillin a part of the spirit bomb that he was able to save. So As Krillin prepares to the unleash AI the is bomb, a bomb, King Kai telepathically contacts him to instruct him not to use his eyes to throw it, but to feel it out. What? Sensing the right moment, Krillin fires the bomb, but Vegeta is able to dodge it. Goku telepathically communicates with Gohan, telling his son to redirect the blast at Vegeta, who has jumped into the air. As the spurted bomb won't harm anyone with a pure heart, Gohan is able to aim it directly at Vegeta, and lands a direct hit. However, okay, Vegeta Gohan. falls back down to Earth, and recovers from the blast. He blows away the Z fighters with a giant explosion of energy, but finds that they have withstood the blast, separated okay. from each other. Vegeta is about to destroy them one by one starting with Gohan, when he notices that Gohan's tail has grown back. Vegeta realizes in horror the artificial moon he created is still active, meaning Gohan can transform so, into an ape if he sees the artificial moon. Wait, does Gohan become... So Gohan becomes a great ape? Hold on, we gotta keep watching. Oh, this is the end of the season. Okay, season finale. Fe season finale. So right now, Goku and Vegeta are kind of locked in there even. We know that Goku is definitely Ryu. We think that Vegeta, he's like an ape, but he's also not an ape because his tail got cut off or something. So maybe he's Sephiroth? This is going to tell us Vegeta who Gohan's going to be. attempts to finish off Gohan to prevent him from looking at his artificial moon and transforming when Yai Rob jumps in and stops him by cutting through his armor with his sword. Okay. Resulting in a heroic distraction. <laughs> no, heroic As distraction. As Vegeta pummels Yai Rob for his interference, Gohan recovers, and then on Goku's telepathic commands, he looks at looks Vegeta's moon, at the moon and transforms and tra okay, into so a great Okay, so Gohan ape. is an ape. However, unlike Vegeta, Gohan can't control himself in this state. Alerted quickly by Goku and Krillin's cries for him to defeat Vegeta, Gohan quickly regains some of his consciousness okay, and, then he and resumes consciousness the fight, some of his pounding on Vegeta. 
Vegeta is able to cut off Gohan's tail in midair, but as Gohan falls to earth he lands on and crushes the Saiyan Prince before finally reverting to his normal form. Okay. Defeated and severely injured, Vegeta pulls out his remote and summons his spaceship. As he crawls toward it, Krillin attempt. Okay, so Gohan is a giant ape and hits Vegeta. That's definitely the AI. And he doesn't know what he, like what, what what does it say? Gohan can't control himself in this state, which fits the AI perfectly. There's no logic to what he does until he's told by Goku Until he recovers his consciousness and resumes the fight pounding on Vegeta. So after like a minute, he can switch over to just punches because he regains consciousness. This fits perfectly. As he crawls toward it, Krillin attempts to kill him with Yai Rob's katana. Goku tells Krillin to stop Krillin? and let Vegeta go, hoping that the act of mercy can change the Saiyan Prince. His life spared, Vegeta promises the surviving Z fighters that he will return and have his revenge as he leaves Earth and his spaceship for good. The battle for Earth ends in victory for the Z Fighters, but at the cost of the lives of Piccolo, Imchi, Chien, Kiyatsu, Who? and Kami, Who? as well as Earth's <laughs> Dragon Balls. What does any of that mean? All right, look, we know what we have to do. Wait, who's Vegeta? Who's Vegeta? Sephiroth? Who's the most? Who looks the most like Vegeta? Uh. Kirby. <laughs> no, it's got to be Kazuya, dude. Where are we fighting? Where where are they fighting? Can we do it in the the dojo? They're kind of in a dojo, right? Does this even have walls? Can we do it in the stadium? It's desert mountains. They're in a desert. Okay. So what do we do? The Gerudo one? Not not this. Not Gerudo Valley. Um, Elden Bridge, I meant. Where is it? Here. How do I turn off the hazards? I have to do that. Yeah, Elden Bridge is good. That fits. Uh, I turn off hazards here, right? Off. Okay. And we might need to put on items like Destructo Discs. Okay, you guys are... Ken or Ryu? Who looks more like Goku? Probably Ryu. Oh yeah, and Ryu has Hadoken. Which is the Kamehameha. And then this, uh, this is... This is, uh, Gohan. Gohan's Donkey Kong. God, why do they do this? I can't see I know where the we computer all love dance frog, but what about Franz dog? <laughs> yeah, dude, Kazuya. Look at Kazuya. He literally looks lo just like Vegeta. It's got to be Kazuya. Kazuya in a suit. Okay, suit or no suit? It's gotta be white suit, right? What are you doing, step bro? Dug Dug Toad less than three Dug Dug Toad. Make Ryu wear orange. I don't know if he has orange. How are we here? Oh, he does. Doug, what's happening? I'm so confused. Video games.
Help, I'm drowning. <sighs> All right. Let me set the stage. We're in a battle for the fate of Earth. Chat, the Goku of this stream, has been training and went to the snake bridge or something. What happened? He found a monkey and he trained by hitting a grasshopper or something. And he's back on Earth, ready to take on Vegeta, who's Kazuya, who kind of looks like him. And they're both from the same genre of video games. And they're perfectly evenly matched. And this victory can only happen because of the AI, Gohan, who turned into a giant ape because of the moon. <sighs> Level nine. All right, this has to be B, hold on, in the code. I'm gonna just have him punch over and over. Gohan as Donkey Kong will have consciousness for the beginning of the battle. Or sorry. <laughs> too, too loud, too fast. Gohan will not have consciousness for the beginning of the battle. He will only be doing random attacks. But then, after a minute, he'll regain consciousness, remember he's fighting for his family, and just start punching constantly, okay? We can do this. Why is he green? Everybody ready? Level 9 CPU. Kazuya is the hardest CPU. Vegeta is the hardest Saiyan. It's fitting. Level 9 Kazuya fucks up top players. Look, you have to work together. You're not fucked. Remember everything we've learned. Remember your training. Remember how you chased that monkey bubbles. You can do this, chat. Good luck. All right, again, stay in the center. Use a lot of attacks. Work your way towards the AI. Use Gohan, your son. All right, we're already starting off sort of strong. He's getting a lot of damage in. <laughs> Vegeta's pretty strong. He already, he already killed Gohan once. Maybe just smash attacks will do it. He keeps shooting a beam, that's not fair. Okay, you hit him once, nice job. Uh oh. Somebody took a picture. All right, you're doing well, you're doing well. Hit him, hit him. All right, nice. Just keep bouncing back and forth. If you work together, you can do this. Nice hit, nice hit. Nice hit. Into the AI. Come on. Into Gohan. Come on, Gohan. Go right, go right. Beautiful, beautiful. Dude, this is doable. This is probably doable. If we get a good smash attack in. Oh, hit the punch. Oh, shit. Okay, Gohan uh, regained consciousness. He's just gonna punch now. Go, Gohan. Okay, totally missed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this is not... We gotta get a kill. Okay, Go Gohan's not doing well. That was solid. Dude, the right B and left B is... Oh, punch my Gohan! Let's go, dude! All right, you can do this. You can do this. Oh, almost almost hit him with the other punch. Okay, it's all up to Gohan. <laughs> Shit. God damn it, Gohan. This is doable. This is 100% doable. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. First order of business. We gotta, we gotta give Gohan a better strategy. Right now, he's a dumbass. Okay, right now, after a minute. So according to the lore, 
He doesn't have any strategy at the beginning, and then after a minute, he regains consciousness. What does he do? After, do we just down B him? He could just down B, so he's slamming the ground. That would be the smart thing, right? Maybe just alternating between down B and up smash. Okay. So at so he'll down B. And then he'll down smash. Wait, is down smash? Which is the one where he does this, where he slams down with his arms? Is that up smash? That's down smash. Is down smash? Oh, but up smash is good too. So he'll wait, let's say half a second and then down smash. Any smash is good. We'll do up smash too. Okay, we've got to survive for a minute. We've got to survive for a minute and then Gohan regains consciousness and we're good. No, the fully charged neutral B punch sucked. It's way too much buildup. We just need him to, to be spamming stuff. I think with Go, this is Gohan's training with Piccolo. I think this will solve it. We need the scoop. Dude, I don't think we do. I don't I think I think people it will undermine the victory if we play on a on a meme level. I think you can do this. Just straight up, I think you can beat him. Add Krillin as a second AI. Who is Krillin? Okay, well that's Kirby. Why does it make me reset this every time? Come on. All right. Goku's gone through training. No. Gohan's gone through training. We're ready. We can absolutely do this. Code is live. Stay stationary. Remember what you learned. Go! Okay, it starts out with the Kamehameha. Hits it. Oh, no. Almost hit with smash attack. Remember, Gohan is going to be a dumbass for a minute. Then he'll regain consciousness. Just stall until then. All right, just keep getting hits. This is fine. He's taking a lot of damage so far, but we can just stall. We're okay. Nice hit from you guys. All right, we're both taking a lot of damage. That's right. Yeah, stick together if possible. Went for the big smash. Keep using your energy beam. Okay, nice. Hits him with the beam. Oh, no. Okay, that's a death for you, but you took down Kazuya. Okay, you took down Vegeta. Let's go. Let's go. We're currently up. We are in the lead. We've got 15 seconds till Gohan wakes up. Uh-oh. Going the wrong direction. Okay, that's off the top. That's fine. Tie game. Tie game. Tie game. Two seconds. And... He's live. All right, he's just going to start doing down Bs and smash attacks. No, why is he crouching? God damn it, Gohan. Oh, the code. No, the code crashed. Shit. <laughs> okay, I reset him. Oh, you guys killed yourselves. Okay, you can grab him here. Big hit! So it all comes down to Gohan. Gohan versus Vegeta! Oh no. Is that gonna kill? Ooh. That's closer. That was closer.
this crashes... Hold on. This... Cr well, why is this crashing? Oh, that's why. Um... Okay, so now Gohan's training will actually work. It didn't last time, he just crashed. That was closer, and the code crashed. I think we just do this. Okay, the only thing missing, the only thing missing is Krillin. Krillin is this guy who's just running around the fight, literally contributing nothing, but he's the only reason that Gohan regains consciousness. So we're adding to the team. Level one Kirby. That's clearly Pikachu. Uh, okay. Those are real. Gohan is Donkey Kong. This is it. Goku versus... No. Goku and Gohan and Krillin versus Kazuya of Vegeta. <laughs> They're identical looking. We can do this. Remember the initial arc with Radish. Remember running through Snake Mountain and fighting a monkey and blowing up the moon or something. Remember when we killed Nappa? You can do this, chat. In three, two, one, go! Okay, Krillin is contributing absolutely nothing. It's gotta be up to you two, let's go. Okay, Krillin poked him for like 2% damage. Okay, nice forward smash there. Krillin, just like the anime, is just distracting and taking up time from the villain. So that's actually working out well. That actually gives time for Gohan to regain consciousness and start using better strats. Come on, chat. Come on. You're the Goku here. Knock him out, knock him out, knock him out. You're right at the edge. Forward smash him and you got him. God, thank you, Krillin. Very cool. Nice. That could be death! That could be death! Not quite. One more right smash here! Right smash here and you could kill him! Oh, wrong direction. Okay. Six more seconds until Gohan regains consciousness. Oh, shit. Okay, Goku died. Okay, Gohan died, but he's awake. Oh, no. You guys killed yourself. Why is he... Oh, that's why. I don't have the code set up correctly. All right, I'll have to fix that. Who died? Oh, Krillin died. Sorry, I'm behind on alerts. I don't have it set that he holds down B. I forgot about that. All right, Gohan sucks. Honestly, this is still doable. Hard, but doable. The move Smash makes it on so everyone gets cool anime moves in the final battle. That's a great idea.
I love how this has basically turned into complete chat recreate Dragon Ball Z in Smash Brothers. I mean, it's shockingly accurate. Uh oh. Okay, you guys have one life. I think you took a life from Gohan. <laughs> Honestly, we're pretty close. <laughs> Krillin is the worst. Krillin contributes nothing. I don't think chat should be. He just distracts Vegeta. Krillin, on the other hand, is still an active combatant and he throws the spirit bomb. Okay, no, that that didn't work at all. All right, Krillin sucks. Gohan still sucks. I need to train him more. But I agree. The missing piece is we need Smash. What is it? We need Final Smash. That way, everybody can use ultra powerful anime moves, which is exactly what they do in Dragon Ball Z. Okay. Uh. <sighs> code. 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 Jesus, take the wheel. Ready to calm, kid. Thank you for the gifted. Okay. Now Gohan will hold down and hold B. Do that Jesus, for three seconds, the then release both of them. That'll be better. Proxy, thank you for the gifted sub. Um, what else do we need? Oh, we need the stage set up correctly. So Gohan should actually finally be trained correctly. Let Smash Kirby has a Smash. sword. Krillin uses a sword. It's perfect. Okay, I gotta edit the rules. My proctologist said I would feel better if codes are better in Switch. So what is this Steam about? There's a lot going on there. Wait, how do you final Smash? Down be a spam, Episode not hold. Oh, is it really? Shit. Yeah, Dinkus uses a distinctive pachinko to gamble his life savings. As a result, his wife, Gorkus, files divorce. Yeah, Dinkus is now more determined than ever to becoming the ultimate ape. Jesus, take the wheel. Okay, so. I'll just have him. Just do this like five times, right? So he just holds, he presses and holds down B, like, presses it for a third of a second just over and over. Hi, Park, sir. Nice code, Lamau. Why does everybody, guys, I'm not like, I'm not sitting here trying to write like incredible code. <laughs> I, I'm streaming. I just want something that works. This is perfectly functional. It's fine. But apparently you have to tap it a whole bunch. This is incredible code. No, I am good enough coder to know that I'm not a good coder. But it's perfectly functional. Doesn't matter. Apparently Kaioken goes up to 20. <laughs> oh wait, sorry. That's the thing I missed. How? Do, what button do you use to, to use the final smash meter? Does anybody remember? It's just the B button? Oh, sorry, I asked that question and you guys were answering it, but I thought you were talking about the other thing. Um, okay, so then I need him to also press B occasionally. Like down here. Cool. <sighs> now I think we're ready.
I know you might think this silence is awkward, but it's actually ominous and building towards a climactic moment. taken three hours we have perfectly recreated the entire first season of dragon ball z let's go chat we now have the full team assembled and we've got final smash meter we can absolutely do this three two one let's go just says party and spikes a bit for me true why are we on this stage? Please hold. Oh, they're going to make me repick all the characters, aren't they? Goku versus Vegeta on a plane. It's exactly like Dragon Ball Z. Oh, that's why I clicked up slightly. Wait, we were just on the moon. <laughs> okay, look, we st we just got to look at the moon. That fits uh, the plot hole about why Gohan is uh, a monkey right now. <sighs> Here we go. Ooh, I'm so ready. Let's finish this season off with a bang. Go, Krillin. Okay, Krillin's fucking useless again. Oh, big hit by Gohan almost. As a reminder, Gohan has a minute until he starts being more effective. Oh, but gets a big smash in. I like that. Everybody stick together. Stick together as a team. Gohan taunted. Stop taunting. <laughs> it's not helpful. All right, stick near him. Stick near him, chat. Work together. Work together. You guys are family. All right, okay. Vegeta's powering up. Beats up Krillin a little bit. Gets hit with the Hadouken Kamehameha from you. The side attack misses. Vegeta's going crazy right now. Oh, rolls in with a big hit. Gohan is fucking worthless over on the right. He keeps taunting. Okay, shit. One down for you. Gohan's about to wake up and power up, though. Ooh, little assist from Krillin. All right, and Krillin's dead, but Gohan's now awake. He should be doing his thing. Okay, you guys are just on opposite ends of the stage. Gohan is just crouching. Also, I think only Vegeta is going to get Final Smash, and it's just going to use it on us, dude. I think Final Smash is a terrible idea. I guess we really just need one hit on him. Okay, Vegeta. Vegeta has final smash. Wait, maybe Vegeta will use it on Krillin. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, I used it on Gohan. Oh my god, poor Krillin. Okay, Krillin has final smash. Krillin! Do something! Use final- Oh my god, he got it! Holy shit! Use the Krillin sword! Actually lore accurate! That's a kill! Okay, this is doable! This is salvageable! Let's go! Let's go! Krillin's almost dead, though. All right, chat, you got, you got to pick it up. All right, Krillin's dead. Krillin's, this is exactly how it goes in the anime. Now start working together as a team. Gohan's just doing his down. Okay, immediately kill yourself. Take one of his lives. All right, come on, grab him. And Gohan's dead. It's up to you. Holy shit! You gipped him! Wow! You got an early kill! This is possible! Goku can finish it off right now! You have final smash! Use B when you're close to him! Or just fucking kill yourself! God damn it, Goku! Oh, you had you had the perfect anime setup.
It's the lore Goku wouldn't finish Vegeta. <laughs> no, look, we you beat him. The season ends, they beat Vegeta, but then they give him mercy at the end. We got to beat him first, and then they can give him mercy. Uh, Gohan was not acting correctly. Is this not going to work? Do I need to make this shorter? Oh, my God. Int, uh, loop, looper equals zero. While wow, looper. There aren't four loops in Python, are there? Whatever. Less than 20. Because he didn't. He wasn't using down B. Oh, there are? I thought there weren't four loops. Oh, whatever. That's fine. Of course there are. Why did I think Python doesn't have... I think I just hate Python, so I just make shit up. Killin's got to be at least a level three. No, 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 no. There's no int in Python. Oh, right, right. There's no int. Sorry. That's the thing. I think there's things like that where I'm like, oh, you can't even cast a variable as an int. Like, Python can't do anything. And then forget that it does have real things. It's the switch statements they didn't have. For some reason, I thought there wasn't a for loop. Maybe it's because I just haven't used it ever in Python. Add Jairobi. No, no. We already have the team. Look, the final episode, let me remind you exactly what happens. Vegeta attempts to finish off Gohan to prevent him from looking oh, at his sure. artificial Jairobi moon and transforming when Yairob jumps in and stops him by cutting through his armor with his sword, resulting in a heroic distraction. As Vegeta pummels Yai. Let's assume the episode's starting here, where Vegeta is punishing Jairobi for his interference while Gohan recovers and then Goku looks at the moon. Okay, this is right. This is where our episode is starting, okay? Oh, you weren't looking at it. There's no plus plus in Python? Oh my god, Python's worthless. There's plus equals. Hey Doug, just used Mount first sub on you. Love you to bits, bud. Thanks, Proxy. Hold on. Too early. Uh, Goku. Uh, um... Oh shit. Whatever. Okay. Code is not looking good. <clears throat> I think Damon X Machina. We gotta whip it out. In every generation, there is a chosen one. She alone shall stand against the vampires, demons, and forces of darkness. She is the slayer. This is it. The season finale of Twitch Chat Ball Z. <sighs> Goku, Gohan, and Krillin versus Vegeta. Let's fucking go! Come on! Let's go, Chad! All right, hit him with the Kamehameha immediately, right off the bat. We need some dope final smashes in this, all right? Remember all of your training. No, don't kill yourself. Careful, careful. Do not kill yourself. Guys! Okay, Gohan's over on the right. He's worthless. Just don't move a lot. Okay, nice forward smash there. All right, Goku's already down two stocks. Gohan's in the corner doing nothing. Krillin's worthless. This is going to be impossible, but it's technically possible. Okay, nice grab there. Grabbed his tail. Goes for the Kamehameha. Okay, Gohan's actually doing his thing correctly. He's actually down being. Yeah, this isn't going well. Wow, Krillin with the kill. Okay, look, the whole crew is here together. It's possible. 
Krillin's gonna have Finals Smash suit for some reason. Oh, almost punched him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Vegeta has Finals Smash. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. Okay, Krillin has Final Smash. This could work. Krillin, do the part in the episode where you actually contribute. Nice! Let's go, Krillin! All right, that's the one part where Krillin actually does something. What that means? There's only one life left. One life left for Vegeta. We can do this. We can absolutely do this. Okay, come on. Gohan, let's go. Shit, that was two shot. It's Krillin and Goku left. Goku, you have Final Smash. Is this it? Is this it? End of the up. Oh, he's alive. That was it. Let's go, dude. Season finale. Goku wins. Use the anime epic final smash. Yes. I can't believe that worked. All right, all right, all right. And now, the epilogue. <laughs> his life spared, Vegeta promises the surviving Z fighters that he will return and have his revenge as he leaves Earth and his spaceship for good. The battle for Earth ends in victory for the Z Fighters, but at the cost of the lives of Piccolo, eh, Imju, Jien, Kiyatsu, and Kami, as well as Earth's Dragon Balls. F for the balls. Great job, Chad. I'm proud of you. What are the balls? What are the what are the balls? I don't understand. <laughs> this show makes no sense. Um, but hey, I'm glad we successfully finished the first season of Dragon Ball Z. Well, I guess chat can beat a level 9 CPU. Dude, I didn't think that was possible. I'm I am so impressed. I am so impressed with you guys. Incredible job. The Earth got circumcised. <laughs> okay. All right. Dragon Ball Z is doing things to your brain. How do we win that? You killed yourself twice, right off the bat. Does that fit? Wait, that totally fits. That totally fits. Because the whole point is after the initial fight. Where was it? Where was it? Where was Goku, like, super tired? Goller, thank you for the 15 gifted subs. Appreciate it. He uses Kaioken. Okay, blast Vegeta into space. Yeah, dude, this, this actually fits. Because Goku was completely spent at the beginning of the fight. You actually made the lore accurate by killing yourself twice. Krillin, the real MVP, <laughs> got two kills. We can all agree that Krillin is not the MVP. It was you guys. You got the killing blow. He <laughs> was, like, far more beneficial than I expected. I'll be honest. Gohan was kind of shit. I don't think he really needed Gohan. We need to fight the AI. So what you're saying is we have to find out who would win. Between Goku and Gohan. One life. More to be afraid of Japanese anime television shows, fighting games, and Twitch chats. Anyway, what's going on, Doug? 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 What's happening? Over 9,000.
What stage? What stage? What stage? Can I go? Final destination? Final destination. The balls are powerful, that's all that matters. Yeah, after we did all the work. Jesus, take the wheel. All right, final destination does not have walls. Be very careful. Colin was always the behind the scenes MVP anyway. The real question everybody has always wanted to know who would win? Vegeta or Goku? Three, two, one. One life. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Give it your all. Dragon Ball Z is the worst show. <clears throat> He's not even supposed to move right. That doesn't even make sense. That's not even in his programming. <laughs> I don't understand. What? That's not lore accurate. <sighs> You're salty you lost. I, f I literally thought I would win this because I picked Final Destination. I intentionally picked a stage that has an edge that you guys would just run off of and Gohan is supposed to just sit still and not do anything. This was like my, and also I made it one life. This is like my one shot to have you guys lose to random inputs. What? <laughs> Why did he move right? Whatever, dude. Oh, Gohan sucks. Ugh. What an Plan. <laughs> All right fun stream dude this worked great i can't believe this lasted exactly there's three major fights in dra in the first season of dragon ball z works perfect hey doug I'm hey sorry i'm late please don't give me detention or call my divorced wife things have been difficult since the last detention and divorce yeah uh, sounds like you need another detention um <clears throat> cool you promised Monopoly. No, I'm, I'm going to call it for today. I got some other shit to do. This is going to be a great video. Yeah, I'll probably make a great video. Is this it main channel video? I don't know, man. Breaked in our favor. I don't have a plan for my videos ever. You promised. Okay, tell you what. And other stuff like answer my email. How I caught up on emails. Okay, apparently I missed your email, Ranchi. Can you resend it or something? Unless it was like a dumb meme email, which I often don't respond to. But I, I am caught up on emails. Or do you mean the toad emails? Uh-oh, what the hell? Uh, let me throw some credits up. Thank you, as always, for the amazing uh, support. I really do appreciate it. I know I missed a lot of subs and stuff today. But thank you, thank you, thank you, as always. Mwah. You're wonderful. You're beautiful. I am eating your son, Doug. Thank you. How are stocks, by the way? So bad. We are in, like, a recession. <laughs> it's, like, bad. Well, we're not technically in a recession yet. But uh, let's just say this. I picked a funny time to have Twitch chat invest $10,000. Oh, actually, not doing as bad. We were at 8000 like, two days ago. We were at $8,000. Now we're at $8,500. $8,559. I thought you guys were going to lose me, like, several thousand dollars. As a reminder, for people who weren't here when they first did the stock investment stream, uh, 
I made $3,500 off Dogecoin. And so as long as you don't lose me more than $3,500, you're just counteracting my Doge winnings and it's fine. But if you guys manage to lose $4,000, I actually have a net loss on this. I copied Parksers and they're currently up. Parksers, Parksers winning by far. He picked a much smarter strategy. He like hedged against this basically. Uh, I can't tell. Three months overall. I can't tell if Pepsi or Coke are both up. Oh, also, um, as an attorney, do you recommend investing in Doge in the dip? Absolutely. Doge is going to bounce right back any moment. Can we leave? Um, no, not until class is done. My friend lost his left nut trying to climb a fence. Thank you. Invest in Goku coin. Uh, no. Tell you what, uh, if I roll uh, heads five times in a row, we'll play Peggle. Uh, but if it's tails, I will immediately end the stream. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Parkster made a, a site. Go to uh, dugdug.com slash stocks. I forgot about that. I got to plug it. Dugdug.com slash stocks. Thank you, Park, uh, Quicksparks, for setting this up. You are wonderful as always. This uh, this shows you a breakdown of where everybody's at. So Parkster's at uh, $9,300. So he's only lost $700. Uh, we, have, we are down $1,500. But the S&P, everything is down right now for some reference for people who don't know, how, who don't follow the stock market. Yeah, he's down. He's down as well. Just a lot less down than most people. Have the balls rise for Cherry. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's lived here. So I'm going to post the video about Cherry's room with the reveal at the end probably a couple days next couple days it's ready to go i just get, gotta get the thumbnail done so that video will be up soon all right um five heads in a row and i'll play peggle i'll do a full peggle speed run uh if it's tails we on the stream Okay, run it back. 